Uh, all right, well, I think we can pick things up from where we left off. When last we left our heroes, uh, OD, what happened last time? Uh, we, um, well, we finished a big fight in the pub and we were cleaning, cleaning stuff up and Lady Avelina, Avelina, I think that was her name, came in uh, mainly to kind of, I think to see me. Uh, and she had a kind of a quiet word with me on the side and I said that these are my my companions I've been traveling with them even though that's kind of not I told a little white lie we basically just got into a bar fight together um, but I said to kind of protect the elves uh, I said they were with ours not to worry she was good with that and kind of left and went on her way and then another lady came in called Sat Satani Satani Tate. Uh so yeah, what was it, Smuck, sorry? Satate? Satate, okay. And she said her oh, I can't remember now. What was it? Not kind of a friend, but like um someone in her like There you go. Um had gone into the Black Forest. Um I think they were trying to get through the Black Forest to the other side, which has suddenly grown in thickness over the last I guess few weeks. So it's now created, I guess, uh trade problems uh people can't get get to the other side like you have to go all the way around that takes weeks so people are still going through it to try and speed things up but she's been gone for a couple of weeks now so us being um heroic adventurers unlike the first time we did ODD. not that this is ODD, but you know what i mean i mean you're, you're um, od and we're playing dnd yeah that's true uh, basically said, well, we'll take this on. We'll, we'll, we'll help you out. And she gave us some potions uh, and she gave us one amulet of power that we kind of agreed off camera, for want of a better phrase, that Anna would get the amulet of power. And we travelled down, took us a couple of weeks, I think, in game, in game time, uh, past Wend and to the top north of the Black Forest, r roughly where we think uh, she went in to the Black Forest and I uh, think Schmuck's character knew that we should try and head for Giant's Rest and I believe we've just found ourselves there now and that's it. That's the start. Excellent recap, that's Madam Crisco. Thank you, sir. Yeah, so you found yourselves in the Black Forest. It's dark. Darkness fell uh, very quickly. It went from being light to suddenly being dark, very dark, almost without a transition between. So it's not late in the evening yet, but uh, there is no light coming through the thick foliage above you, the canopy of trees. And you can hear around you the sounds of the forest at night, crickets chirping and frogs croaking, um, and I think it would be a good idea for you folks to make perception checks. Okay. To see okay. how many of you were surprised. Are we? Do we get that bonus perception from? Um, uh, Thank you, Sarah. Perception. Um. Yeah, you should do. Let me just look at it. La la la. Group awareness. Um. You grant non-elf allies within. So. Sorry, sorry, Yorin. Oh, um, within five squares of your <laughs> plus one racial bonus perception check. So everyone gets a plus one except Orin. Wow. You have to do that with that modifier, right? <laughs> and me. I, and me. I mean, I don't get it. So it seems as though only Zoga is... You folks are... Zoga may be distracted by the, the giant... Literally a giant skeleton that has died and its body rests against this tree. It's unclear how long ago... The skeleton has been here. Giant skeletons take an unusually long time to decay and turn into uh, powder or whatever. And everybody except uh, Zoga hears this high-pitched whine that is the telltale sign of a winged enemy. And just in the in the sound of the the natural sound of the forest has kind of masked the sound of these creatures for zoga but everyone else is like what is that and um it's initiative 
Oh no! Come on. Oh okay. I like that. Right away, okay. What do you mean? Okay. What do you mean? Come on. What you, is this what you signed on. up for? Isn't it? What do you think was gonna happen in this forest? Nothing. Why do you think I break the battle? Wasn't was there a thing where it's like we got we got like added initiative stuff? Maybe I don't know. Is there a player that has a bonus to initiative? You all have your bonus Hi. to initiative for being close to me. Even though I'm busy, like, studying this giant skull in front of me. Fine, I didn't need to live. Y'all are just, uh... Life is wasted on extra, the living. Extra ready to fight. Huh? Because of my badass oh, presence. Uh, Lavella seems pretty freaked out. Nice. Ko readies his batter club. Ko, you notice these bat-sized creatures that appear to have been disturbed from your tramping around in the underbrush near the giant, giant skeleton. And they take to the air and flutter around. And it, 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 it takes a second to even to realize, wait, those aren't bats. Bats don't have... Uh, four legs and four wings. What's du double bats? What are these uh, things? I know what those Dirge. are. My friend Jim's <laughs> favorite monster. Uh, and so, by the way, just want to remind you folks that the whole idea behind this was like, hey, let's play fourth edition. You guys might like it. And really the way we show it off is we, we fight stuff. So if there's a lot of fighting tonight, yeah, bats don't have a proboscis, and these things do. They're like oh. they're basically like demon mosquitoes. Is what they look like. Butterfly. Oh, mosquitoes needed to be worse. Yes. They, uh -huh. Imagine a mosquito that was about as big as a house cat, <laughs> mm. and also just looked pissed off. Uh, so let's see, Co. You are, it's not, it, you, you, they are, until they, unless you have a ranged attack, there's no real easy way for you to get to where they are. They're in the air, and they're over this, uh, this terrain. Can I, like, wait until one comes within range and then whack it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, yes. I guess that, since, since I've done that, well, I'm gonna give it to Cervanazor then. There we go, Cervanazor. You see these demon mosquito creatures taking off and they're in the air flying over this tree no, and you they said smell, I can't, I they can't smell blood. get to get to them right Co correct you have, a, you have a ranged if you have a ranged weapon you can make an attack oh, but you can't it. like just you, you can't just walk up to them they're not on the ground gotcha let's uh let's try and fling a javelin at one of these gits uh, so when i click what? when i click on a mini you get to see the map from their point of view 16 we had a sturge yeah. Hit Sturge number four. Not much damage, though, do I? Ah, oh, well, yeah, really, I don't do much damage. Oh, okay. I've got plus five, six damage. Okay. Servanosaur hurls a javelin, and these things are pretty small. Vanazor obviously is an experienced warrior, because he just, bam, tags one of them. And you see it spin slightly as the javelin hits it, but the javelin doesn't pierce it. It's almost like a, a glancing blow that causes the Sturge to kind of go a little bit, and then it rights itself again. And now it's just, man, it's it, it's super pissed at Cervanosaur. <laughs> no, I'm sure it is. Tom's going, right, but Tom uh, is surprised. I don't know what that does for you. What does surprise do? You grant combat advantage. You can't take actions. You can't flank an enemy. And characters with the Oh, if you have alertness, you can't be surprised. He does but not have alertness, which means okay. So yeah, which means so not being able to take actions means you're basically done. My turn. Yep. Okay. The Sturges are excited. Well, so now Zoga, you are now aware of the Sturges that your party are all looking at. Like, okie dokie. How far up are they? Uh, they're about thirty feet over your where you are. So they're. I mean. 5, 10, 15 out and 30 up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, I think, slightly away from the party. Just because I'm a little worried about them using, maybe if they have weird shit, uh, I don't want to be clumped together, so. I mean, they're pretty weird looking. They are weird looking. They also have proboscis. Proboscis. Yeah, so I'm going to move here. Uh, is that... Can I hit this Sturge? 
Like, sure. I mean, in the yeah. sense, well, like, I mean, is it within range? It, um, if you have a ranged weapon, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and roll a sling attack at this guy. If I can figure out how this works. Yeah. 10 plus 2 is 12. Does a 12 hit? No, uh, no, I don't think it does. Let's see. Uh, no. AC 15. Um, well, I shoot with my sling and it just it's over shots. Uh, I think that's the end of my turn then. Sturge number one. Well, Sturge number one. Now in trouble. Sturge number one is going to target uh, Anner. Yep. Nimble Bloodsucker, bite plus six versus Ack. Ack, Ack, Ack. It hit me. Yeah, it fucking did. And it does. 19. It, yeah, and it, uh, it goes. I'm wounded. Wounded just means you took damage. I'm wounded. It doesn't mean, doesn't mean like you're dying or anything. Um, <laughs> go. Anna, you hear this uh, <laughs> coming, coming from <laughs> behind you and to your right. Um, and the Sturge, Anna, it lands on your shoulder and it goes <laughs> and it sticks its straw-like proboscis into your neck and worms its way down between your armor uh, and your skin and it starts sucking your blood. You are grabbed by uh -huh. the Sturge. And, and the rest of you, if you're watching this Sturge land on Orin, you can see that its, it's, its legs have these little hooks, and the hooks have grabbed onto her armor. Ish. And it's Disgusting. literally like sucking the blood out of her. You can see her blood pulsing yeah. through this thing's proboscis. And meanwhile, Thanks. Sturge numero dos. Do I, do I get to swing at it? Yes, you Noises do. work. Yes, you do. Go right ahead. Before it, before it, before it does that. Again, your prescience, your limited prescience says, "Man, hey, better, better, better." If I don't smack this thing, it's gonna, it's gonna suck my blood. Ah! Oh, that was ah! so close to being a two. It was. <gasps> yes. Yeah, baby. <laughs> this is what happens when you ready your action. Man. Yeah, the sturge is bloodied, but not dead. So do I still get to Ugh. hit it if my uh, fist of blows is a free action once per round? Does that mean I can do this now? Sure. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay, All right. 11 damage it, and it was bloodied. Yeah. It should be I mean, you, prone as well. Oh, really? That makes sense. You bat it out of the air and knock it prone. No. Uh, yeah, and then I punch it on the ground. Nice. <laughs> uh... <laughs> That's cool. Dope. Yeah, that's, that's, it's, hey, bad about it is a great, yeah, smack that bitch out of the sky, says Lord Duroc. <laughs> uh, God. Yeah, so you see Ko, like Babe Ruth, just go, wham, and hit this thing, and it goes, flap, and lands on its back, and it twitches, um, but it's not dead. It flips <laughs> itself over. It uses its movement action to go, and take to the air again, and it attacks Ko, and it does damage to him. You could have killed oh. it if you had done a little bit more damage. Uh, right. and it it latches it latches onto you as well. Uh, do do. Uh. Hit. Uh. Wounded, and he latches onto you. What was that? Wounded. Wounded. <laughs> I just, I, I like my Sturges and I want them to, I get excited when they do cool stuff. Sturge number four is like, well, my buddies are all like, seem to be one, two, three, four, five. I just have just enough movement. You know how cats it unerringly in a room full of people will seek out the people that hate cats the most? Yeah, or allergic, yeah. Oh, come on now. Actually, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> what if instead we didn't do this? <laughs> you have to reason. You can't try. You have to reason with the sturge. Uh, these sturges are kicking ass. The sturges, the sturges have all gone, Lavellus. There is a giant demon mosquito that has wrapped its claws around your neck and has inserted oh, its 
proboscis. It's pierced your the the arteries in your neck, and you can feel its its uh, prehensile proboscis seeking and twitching inside your chest. It's trying to find your heart. It's oh, trying to find the source of your blood. Yes. It wants your blood. <laughs> I hate this so much. Why is there so much detail? I mean, it's it's good. It's working. Congratulations. I mean, hey, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> okay. I mean, look, if I, I, I don't have a lot of skills as a dungeon master, but I like describing what the monsters do in such a way that the players are like, that's fucked up. Okay, well, it's working. Um, <laughs> all right. Okay, great. I'm consulting my list of invokees. All right, look. I was gonna do something helpful to the group, but there's it's it's going for my heart, team. It's going for my heart. So I think um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to invoke the Elven Hero Kinthelen uh, and cast Avenging Light. Yeah. Eh. Why do I why oh. do I roll so low? But okay, it's a hit. I'll take it. And it's this one. Look at how small I have to make this map in order to have combat tracker and chat 11 damage um and so this just looks like it's like a flashbang goes off like right on top of it and you folks all you're you're, you're momentarily narratively but not mechanically um your eyes have little spots in front of them now uh yeah <clears throat> round two Fight. so this uh so this uh Sturge is grappling Ko, and meanwhile, he was looking at the rules to see what happens when he pushes something that's grappling him. Uh, and it seems to be that if I successfully push this off of me, it will be no longer grappling me. So I would like to attempt my crane's wing attack against it. You're right. I think that if you... Um... Yeah, okay, go ahead. I seem to remember that if you, like, sh uh, if you shift... If you move, it moves with you, but I think there is a type of movement that would break its grab, but I don't remember. It's dead. Ugh! Yeah. The, the Sturge corpse flops at Ko's feet and twitches a little bit, and it, otherwise it's no longer... None of its bones are still intact. And it, awesome. is, it is of interest only to historians. Okay, so I, I don't think I can move and then use my stone fist flurry of blows, can I? I don't think so. That seems That seems... Outside Seems of like context, it's immediately uh, yeah. afterwards. Okay. Well, then what agree, I'd like Mark. to do, but I'd like to step forward towards my pal Aaron here. Ooh, maybe I could flank this thing. Can I? Can I get in that little area to flank it? Mm, uh, mm, it dark for us. Let's see. Yeah, you can. Okay. It's not in the. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna step oh, up thing, here. Yeah, absolutely, you can get over there. I thought. Sorry, I thought you were. Now the heroes have been plunged into darkness, FYI. Yeah, I can't see. Like if uh, I click on OD. The Velus now. Like, oh. <laughs> if I click on OD, oh, he can't like he can't see Lavellus or the other Sturge, which is awesome, by the way. Lavellus has dark vision, right? Yeah. Lavellus can see all y'all motherfuckers, but, yeah. <laughs> but okay. OD can't see her. Well, we'll, we'll make this quick. Um, so I'm going to step over there. I'm going to use my action point, and then I'm going to That's That's attack. bold. This one with awaken oh, the up. slumbering hurt. Hold up. Yeah, yeah. fuck yeah, Tom. Tom for president. Tom's a, a, a warlord, and warlords grant you bonuses when you use your action point. Ooh, okay. Which is fucking cool. Oop. This is cool. Oh, Thank you, Tom. I'm, I'm just super. It's super cool that you remember that and that you applied it. That's that's awesome. Make him pay, baby. Awesome. So that plus one is already woven in. Yeah, it knows. And does yeah. it know about the flanking as well, or do I need to adjust It does that not one? know. The, the game does not know where you are on the map. So it, flanking just gives you plus two. So just go ahead and give yourself the plus two modifier in the modifier box. All right. Let's 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 try to roll high. Be oh, oh, my gosh. You were so oh, on it today. I am. Oh, my oh, gosh. Yeah, dude. <laughs> no, <I> yes. <laughs> yes, all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Damn. I'm so excited. Right, and then you did another eight to him with fl fl flurry of blows. And that, yeah. ki that kills him. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so Nice, dude. Hell yes. Clean Hell him up. Hell yes. Oren, uh... MVP. Oren kills the Sturge... Oren the Sturge killed. I'm sorry. Co the Sturge killer 
kills the Sturge that had uh, latched itself onto Orin. The proboscis is still like sticking out of your neck, but the rest of the, the and it's twitching and squirming, but the rest of the Sturge has fallen to the ground dead. There's a little, little bit of blood going thwimp, 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 out of the <laughs> out of the thing because she's got, basically got a straw in her now. Cool. It's, it's you, Sir Vanazor. You've got a sturge in you. It's literally drinking your blood. In fact, if it keeps doing this, it's going to have a little bit of dragon blood inside it. it. might be able to breathe fire. Uh, Well, I'm going to attack this one that's on me with my howling strike, but I'm also howling in pain a little bit as well. So kind of confusing whether I'm actually attacking or, or kind of crying in pain. Hive indicator says two at-bats, two home runs for Ko. Yeah, Marker. you're in a lot of pain, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, ow, I don't want this. Well, who's going next? We've only got one left. One right? left. One. No, no, it's no. two stirs. As far as you can see, there's only one left. Oh, I'm going to use my. I'm going to oh, use my. No. I'm gonna oh, use, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to use my action point because. It's just the Velis in the dark getting. I don't want this thing on me. So, oh, oh, sorry, Schmuck. I'm using my action point. Can you. Thank, you? thank you, sir. That's so what I like. So many like action here. points being used in the first encounter. Holy ah. shit, Savannazor, what did you do? Uh, my howling strike. Oh, you howling yeah. struck again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's really uh, hard. You notice, by the way, it's really fucking hard to hit one of these Sturges once they're latched on. Without without actually hitting the person that... Goddamn. Okay, well. Uh, Sturge number three is very badly damaged. Uh, this is an encounter power, so I'm going to... Oh, wait. Did I kill... Like, did I put it did, it's not dead. three down to... It's not on zero hit points. It's not dead. Okay. It's bloodied. Bugger. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, Disgusting. That would, that would be the end of my turn. All right. So, um... Let us see if, off of uh, me. You're, not, you're not surprised anymore. What? Now I can't see anything. I'm just gonna... That's not true. You can see Ko. Well, yeah, but uh, Zoga just disappeared for me. He just ran into the dark. You just see him scrambling over the logs. Yeah. Oh, did OD take damage and or a saving throw? I'm sorry. Hang on a minute. That's right. Sturges on your turn. Stand by. Okay. Oh, no. Hang on a second. Uh, Sir Banazor. Where are you? There we go. Er. Summer in the dark. Oh, sorry. No, that's not what I wanted. Because it's dead. So it doesn't do ongoing damage anymore. But it did do ongoing damage to you. Uh, it, drank some, on, it drank some of your blood. They're a good team. They're just, they're just blind. They're blind as bats. <laughs> We'll, yeah, I'll we'll come like save you once dark. we can see you again. <laughs> we'll come save you once Wrest we can see you. Wrestling with a bat mosquito. Like this is <laughs> what this is what Zoga can see. Zoga can't see Lavellus <laughs> or this other Sturge. Oh, we're uh, gonna die here. Sorry, I'm going to. Yeah, that's right. I remember that. Yeah, it should have, but I. But, but it was I after the. Oh my yes. fucking god! Now we're back. Yes. It's a good thing you guys are eating up all your d20s now against these little uh, pud knockers. I swoop around behind Servanazor and slash this Sturge in twain. Cool. Yeah. I don't. I don't see you on the map, so it's brilliant. So I just in, out of darkness, this <laughs> Sturge that was attacked attached to me is just suddenly dead. Yeah. Servanazor just looks confused. <laughs> what weapon, no what weapon are you using, Servanazor? Is it you using a a, a great axe? Uh, yeah. No, I'm sorry, no, sir. I'm sorry. Uh, Zoga, what weapon are you using? Uh, it's a longsword. Yeah, so you just see this longsword bloom out of the darkness and yeah. slice the sturge in two. That's awesome. Careful. Do I, <laughs> do I need to do anything about this proboscis in me? Is it actually doing anything? No, it's no, a no, purely no. narrative. Okay, well, I just reach up and, like, grab it and pull it out and throw it to the ground. Yes. Like, gross. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up. Is the... Uh, Sturge four, is it low enough for me to hit my battle axe? Yes, it's it's in fact it's latched onto Lavellus. In fact, it's very difficult yeah. to hit it with your battle axe without hitting Lavellus. So, but you're gonna do your best. Can I punch it? It's, it's just as difficult to hit with whatever weapon you're using without without wounding without wounding your friend or comrade or colleague. Can I is there something else I can do? Like, can I use like an nope. athletics to like just grab the thing and squish it? I mean, you can do any of those things, but it has a special ability, which is so when like I'm grabbing on when I'm grabbing onto somebody, I get plus five to my armor class. Mm so as long as it's as long as it's grabbing onto Lavellus, it gets plus five to its AC. 
Well, in that case, let and me the way I up. narrate that is, I say it's hard to attack this thing and hit it without accidentally damaging your friend. But that's a narrative explanation. The actual ability is, as long as I'm stuck to Lavellus, I'm plus five to AC. Well, rather than swing my battle axe at Lavellus, I'm going to try and use my um, sling again. Okay. Well, if you hit, it'll you'll probably kill it. That would be cool. Oh, that would right. be great. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, how do I... I'm expecting a roll of four. No way. Oh! Disrespected oh. Krillin, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Welcome why to the gifted sub this... club. Why, why is it a miss? Defense effects plus five? Correct. Oh, is it because it's like, that's the thing? Yep, it's grabbed onto, it has a normal, it's normal AC is uh, 15, I believe. Yep. It's plus five to AC because it's stuck to Lavellus. And as a result, it's really fucking hard to hit. Well, oh. good luck to it now trying to hit Lavellus because I just marked it. Oh, that sucks. Uh huh. And I think. Actually, it doesn't need to hit Lavellus, but good, good idea. Go ahead. It doesn't? Nope. It did that already. That's why it's going to do five damage automatically at the beginning of her turn. So I think it's actually done because according to its text, um, it can only use its bite when it's not grabbing somebody. Yep. So it's just done. And watch this. Er she just took five damage. And now she's bloodied. Oh, Ow. Yeah, so that's that's how that and works. And now it's my turn. It the, did all of it. Yep. The Ooh. Sturge the Sturge grabs onto you. And once it's grabbed, it grabs you and does damage with its proboscis. And once it's done that, it just sits there sucking your blood. It doesn't need to make attack rolls. Um, okay, 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 look. I'd love to do something more interesting right now, but I, I don't want to use one of my... Alright, look, look, look. I'm just gonna Avenging Light it again. <laughs> I know, it's very, very boring of me. But I, I think know. it's the best thing I have right now. <laughs> and I'd like better. to not die. <laughs> okay. Am I still targeting it? Um, no. Yes. Ha uh ha! -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh! oh. Yeah. That's my first ever good roll! That's nice. nice! I enjoyed that. That was a pleasant experience. I turned off the do not let the players roll higher than seven. I knew it was you. That was... Thank you. Thank you for that. The um. power of the ancient elves blesses you. And the Sturge is obliterated. Mm. Okay. Awesome. And that's it. The, power, the battle's uh, over. Uh, um, uh, I believe so much bleeding. I can go rest, and I can give you guys a I short pull, rest. I pull its proboscis out from me, but it's like pulling out like a really long IV needle, you know. You've got this wet, noodly alien mosquito to proboscis around you. All right, so uh, now you guys can explore this. Uh, Co reveals a proboscis under his mustache. That's how he, talk. That's how he talks. <laughs> I get my uh, action point back, right? Because that encounter's over. You only get your action point back after the after every other encounter. Oh. So at the after the next encounter, you will get your action point back. Okay. Mm -hmm. and do we get um? Mm -hmm. Do I get any hit points back for that short rest? Uh, you can use the surge, right? I think during a short rest, you can use as many surges as you want. I think we're all healthy. Cool. Well, then you are free to explore this forest. Cool. Uh, Wait, which way should we go? North or? I would yes. ask you guys to restrict your. I, I think it would be best if you. In fact, we, maybe we should just use continue using the combat tracker um, to keep you guys kind of grouped. Not necessarily grouped together literally, but in terms of like. You know, there's nothing stopping you right now for one person just going, dragging their miniature all the way across the map. I do think um, with, there's a marching information thing in the parting sheet. Is that what yeah. that's for? I think it's just for like when you're in, when you're out of combat and you're you're literally marching somewhere. Like you're going down the road, you're going through a dungeon or whatever to make it so the DM can just see what your marching order is before um, a battle oh, starts. I see, I so see. that when I say, okay, it's initiative, we all, instead of it being me dropping you onto the map, you guys have determined, here's our marching order for when combat starts. So, Co. Let's, all right. You can move, I think, um, mm. whatever your movement is twice. I mean, I'd like, let's go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
question. Mm -hmm. Are we just lost? Savannasaur is completely in the dark now. Sora and Zerga uh, just can't see anything. I just kind of turn back through the darkness and I say, I, see you, yeah. I found another skeleton over here. <laughs> so how does this work? Do we just follow Ko? You don't have to. You can, If you want to, you can go off in a random direction. No way. Savannasaur, well, Savannasaur yeah. would go with Ko. Absolutely terrified. <laughs> Ko's got the Ko, Ko's got the torch. Yeah, you guys can. We, move. we gotta make one of those. You know when primary school kids are on excursions and they all have to hold hands in a chain. Mm -hmm. That really feels like. Three, four, five, six, seven. Because I can only move seven. I've got a penalty. I well, think. that means you can move. That means you can move. Like I would say, like yeah, double that per turn. Okay. Great, because I, I can only move six. Right. Here, I think. Um, all right. Well, one, two. Oh, yeah, there's a big skeleton. Three, four. This is cool. Five, six. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me see. Oh. So, uh, again, quick question: Are we? Um, is there something more specific that we're looking for? Are we lost right now? I can't remember what's happening. This is well, where we're, we're in the right place. Giant's rest. We're at Giant's rest. And so we're, I think we're looking for uh, clues to. I can't remember the name of the person we're looking for. But I guess we're looking for clues of, did they come through here? Are we in the did right way? Did any of us write that person's name down? I didn't. Uh... I didn't either. Anna did a lot of work to create uh, uh, spaces for notes in Google Drive. I don't think she added any notes to it, but she did a lot of work. Um, maybe we can add it to the, um, because I know that within Fantasy Grounds, there's like an NPC <laughs> thingy for the sidebar. Oh, yeah. But I don't know how can to add I, it to that. Can I make, like a nature check to see anything that looks like super out of place for this kind of an environment? Yes. <laughs> that was that was a long, frightening pause. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that then. I would like to... <laughs> Come on. Why? Uh. Um... Just for the rest of the party, I don't notice anything that is helpful for finding uh, the lost person. Okay. Uh, well, we've got a lot more. We've got a lot more giants rest to check out. So, FYI, the um, the reason they said the reason Satati said giants rest probably is because there's a pool of water here, fresh water that they would have the that the villagers would have used to replenish their supplies. We have. Um. We've not does, found that yet, have we? So. Does it make sense I don't know, have you? for the elves to go? No, a about little... random. Sorry, <laughs> I was gonna say because, like, cause since the elves both have um, night vision, does it make sense for us to like scout ahead a little bit to see if like we can see stuff without like maybe drawing attention with the torch, but like not too far, like within like twenty five or thirty feet? But yeah, just as a little buffer of trying to not <laughs> stumble headfirst into danger. Yeah, the only thing is like I definitely can't be uh, like i'm not super stealthy i've got like chainmail on and stuff so it's not really a sneaking you, around <laughs> it's just seen a little ahead I have a negative one to stealth oh me me too okay yeah, so yeah. <laughs> i think i think she has okay. negative one for the same reason you do i think it's because she's wearing shane okay so i think if we're targeting vanazor as like the uh one of the group then i would think it would be like okay one two three uh, four five. it's a uh, diagonals are one what? Never mind. Sorry. Go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, and this is as far as like I don't want to get more than twenty-five feet really away from everybody. Um, so uh, make I don't a know perception if... check, Oren. I mean, I can actually see. let me do it for you. Let me do it for you because that way I know the result if you don't. Wait, I what? can do that too. I've got the dice tower. That's right. Use the dice tower. Plank you. That's even better. That's way better. Go waves. I love co's. Oh, motherfucker. Yeah. You notice um, it's 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 right at the edge of your vision, Oren. Yeah, you okay. notice you notice uh, Oren, who was scouting ahead before Lavellis bravely joined her. You notice that there is a figure, um, a humanoid figure, that appears to be like uh, in a tree to the northwest of you. A humanoid figure. Um, am I able to see? Like, are they looking our direction? Doesn't appear to be, they don't appear to be moving, and you can't see their eyes. You can only see their outline. I can't see their mm. outline. 
Okay. Um, do they look as if they're armed? No. That's cool that you just walked over there and found that. You could have gone a different way and not seen that. Although I guess I should have put it on the combat tracker if I wanted it to be hidden. Like, really hidden. Yes, who nearly forgot to change the message to Elvin. <laughs> I didn't know it, Elvin. What? Hmm? No, I, I was, I was. Oh, you reply. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I nearly, on, very on, close on, to on, having the same debacle. <laughs> can we, can we hear him talking? Yep, you can. Well, actually, yeah, you hear. Uh, no, no, uh, make a, make a, make a perception check because they're probably whispering and they're 30, 40 feet away, and there's the sounds of nature around you. Bam. No. I had a plus five on that as well. You can't even you can't even hear that they're talking. Could I light up my own torch? Like being that I came from these woods and would kind of know how dark they are. Yeah, would probably have a torch on me, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I was gonna say yeah. As though as though. Why are you? <laughs> Don't do that. I'm trying to. I want to see what she has to say. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> Zoga, you have a torch. Thank you. Okay. If you guys so my sword is versatile. Like one of the reasons that I asked if I could equip it, it both hands or one hand or whatever. Makes Never sense mind. to me. Anyway. Also, by the way, there are other light sources. Like a lantern would probably go farther, but lanterns are harder to cart around. What? Um, so yeah, we come back and uh, relay that there's a figure up in a tree up ahead uh, to the northwest. And it doesn't appear to be armed, but it's but also it's very difficult. in a tree. In my mind, there are two kinds of people who are in trees. The kind who's trying to ambush you, or the kind who's dead and has been dragged into a tree by something else. Those are the, like, or children. Mm, I guess children climb, exist. But maybe like, climbed up a tree to get away from something else. Mm. Hmm. Are there leeches in the swamp? <laughs> well, we're... We're looking for people, so let's let's go check it out. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. All right. We'll all go together. The last time well, somebody you, said, you "Are there leeches first. here?" They made there be leeches. Fine. I'll go first. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm following with you. Oh. I don't want to be left uh. in the dark. This is so cool, you guys. I got his torch now. We're still go. probably a couple, of, like go. at least another session away from fourth go. edition kind of being second nature. Or actually, this looks really fucking cool, you guys. Where was this? I'm. It's about 40 feet, 40 feet more northwest. Northwest. Yeah. Oh, jeez. We're, We're just bringing torches. Close. We're just bringing oh. torches. Wait. Oh, no, ah, okay. Look, look, look. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm going to stay out Get of up. the torchlight, though. I'm, yeah, I'm just going to oh, stay around point. the yeah. edges. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm just going to go see what's up here. I'm, I'm going with. Uh, oh, look. There's another oh, skeleton. Holy the body skeleton thingy. You there. That skeleton is leaning against <laughs> a giant tree. The Naga as, is stressing me out. As, Hark! Tree dweller. We I come trees, from a no. group of gorilla warriors, and here we've got Zoga just like, ah! <laughs> yeah, Lavellus is probably like, you realize that like any bad guy around here will be able to see that torch, right? As you bring the torch closer, you see this figure that is uh, bound to the tree the same tree oh, that no. the same tree that the giant skeleton is resting against and um it appears to have been like tied to the tree with vines is the is the figure alive like is this a mm. it, it's not talking to you it's not reacting to you in, in any way its eyes are closed its head is kind of its head is kind of it looks like it's asleep Savannah sort of lets out a bit of a roar to what try is it? to awaken them. You, oh. look like. you suddenly, all of the crickets and frogs all shut up. It is now deathly quiet in the forest. Oops. Oh, I hate um. this place. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to lean in and see if I can hear this guy breathing. Um, Hang on one second. Also, is this a, is this a human? Is this a... Right. Yes, what? it's a, it's, it appears to be... Um, a generic human, the kind that exactly the same kind you might find in the Dancing Goblin. Uh, great value, great value brand human. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just, he's got a white label on him that says human. <laughs> I would like uh, to, I would like to try and cut the vines to free this. Hang on, to free this person. Let's see if this works. Uh, uh -huh. All right. 
So as you... As you reach out to try to grab this guy and pull him out of the tree, the vines that are wrapping around him try to wrap around you. Ah! Oh, knew it. No, 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 no. I was literally just typing to Lovellis if she was like going to do like a nature check because like if this tree's giving me the GBs. I was just about to. <laughs> uh. It's initiative. Uh, Zoga. Uh, these vines start reaching out to grab you. Right on. Um, I'm going to chop at those vines while also taunting them. Ooh. These vines are smarter than the Sturges. Sorry, go ahead. How about the... Oh, a miss. A whiff. Yeah, these things are hard to hit because they're just these spindly little vines. So that was a brash assault. Is it only on a hit that that effect happens? Good question. No, effect means it just it happens whether you hit or not. All right. So stupid vines, you know, come at me, bro. Yeah, I swing and a miss. Yeah, the vines are. So you're taunting them with your brash assault. Um, your the bloodthorn vine is definitely going to fall for your. It's going to fall for your thing. Um, yeah, let's see. It's going to give it a shot. It, it hits you. Ah! So what is your what is your taunting thing do? So now, uh, since it's so focused on me and my like hurtful words against vine kind, Servanazor gets a free attack. Oh, cool! A free basic attack. It's kind of hard okay, to see cool. these vines. And and you have combat advantage. So do a little plus two in your modifier. Chop these vines up, son. Nice. I just do it. Uh, okay. It's a basic. Oh, it is, do I, do I, it's sorry, a basic God. attack, right, Tom? Yeah. Yep. So that means it's a, on your combat tab, just a weapon attack, not a power. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I use my great axe. Uh, do I need to target? Yep. You need to target and roll the hit and everything else. Yes. Okay. Now, if if th this is kind of where the combo happens, if Orin was uh, next to that vine too and had it marked then it, Orin would also get a free attack or something. Oh, that's actually a good point, because, like, well, I'm not so worried about... 19. Mm. Yeah, we hit. Ha-ha! <laughs> and then I'll do my damage. Wow, that's pretty good. 12. Yep, pretty good. Nice. Yeah, nice. Uh, Zoga, in spite of... In spite of Sir Vanazor, hacking at this vine and doing damage and you see as he hacks at it and his his uh his his great axe slices through these woody barky root like tendrils blood starts oozing out of them but there's still quite a lot and one of them reaches out and impales you with a thorn uh you take some damage and you are grabbed and the vine uses its minor action to crawl up the tree, pulling Zoga with it. Oh, oh that's, that's oh. cool. I mean, not cool for Zoga. Uh, no. <laughs> Cody, that's cool. I mean, it's not cool for Zoga, but it's pretty fucking cool. Uh, <laughs> So yes, that's that's uh that that was Zoga's turn. All that happened on Zoga's turn. Zoga's come at me, bro. <laughs> Turned into a bro at me come. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think that's it. Yep, yeah, it was your brash assault. <laughs> Orange, your turn. You just watched Zoga get fucking ganked by a bloodthorn oh, vine. No. Yeah. Uh let's see real quick. <clears throat> see, to my way of thinking, I could be alone in this, but this is like cooler shit than you would expect to happen at first level D&D, 5th edition. That Orin and Lovellus went, we saw, we were like, mm, this is suspicious. Let's go back to the group to be yeah. safe. And yeah. then the group were like, uh -huh. let's go touch it. You're like, I got an idea. Let's let's feed the human to it and see what happens. <laughs> hey, human, come here. I'm going to make a sling attack towards the, uh, do I have him targeted? Bloodthorn Vine one, the one that's grabbing Zoga, basically. No, that doesn't hit, huh? 
Nope. Well, that sucks. Uh, curse stands. That's okay. I missed him, but I can still. You can see here, he, the hand means grabbed. Noise. Uh, Sweet. Um, well, I think that's the end of my turn. Sir Vanazar. It will be your turn. Yeah, excellent. Thank you. So, uh, Bloodthorn Vine 1 is the one that's grabbed Zoga. Correct. Right? And uh, is that vine now up in a tree? Like it's no, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't have altitude. Um, oh, okay. It, I, I mean, it, narratively, yes, it does. But as far as your ability to move and attack stuff, no. Then I'm going to go next to it so I can get around. If I can do this, oops. Like that, I guess. If I could hit it, maybe like that, yeah. actually. And I will attack it because I am somewhat worried about my good friend Zoga being dragged off up a tree with my howling strike. Oh, sweet! What's Why is that? it ow like a dog? Because that's how he Aoo. howls like a weird, a weird dragon <laughs> dog howl. <laughs> and then I clean my eyeballs real quick. And nineteen. Yeah, I, I nice. That guy. You guys are kicking ass. And let's do my damage. You're definitely getting the hang of this. Uh, damage is 12. State is blooded. Yeah. Um, you just blooded it. Oh my there's gosh. a lot, and there's a lot of literal blood pouring out of these vines. So it's taken ah. 24 damage. Correct. And it's only bloodied. Correct. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. There you go. Cut. All right. Co, can you see that there's a bloodthorn vine directly north of you? Yes. Okay, good. Yes, I see it. On my Hidden screen, in the ribs of the because, giant. Yeah, be, yeah, yeah. Because the um, icon for the vine is a uh, transparent PNG, it's actually kind of hard for me to see. It kind of looks like Co has like wild dreadlocks. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna beat it up. Yeah. Dope. Mm, I'm gonna go. Let's go, cranes. You're not cranes currently wing. targeting it, FYI. Oh, thank you for the reminder. There you go. Oh, in it. Two power. That must be from your crane thing. That's the initiative bonus from. That, that's the oh, initiative. Yeah. You're still not targeting it, I don't think. Oh, yeah. yeah okay, cool. You, yeah, I guess you are. Why don't I see that? That's weird. Yeah, there it is. That's interesting. Time to whack some weeds. Oh, now I see it. Nice. I guess it just didn't update. Yep. Nice. And he doesn't have any kind of like cool dope ass reaction. No. No. Okay, cool. Are All you done? All right. And then for my move action, I'm going to coat myself in stone. Oh, no. Bloodthorn vine numero uno. uses his um, standard action to sustain the grab, which does uh, an addi additional damage to Zoga. Zoga is almost dead. And, oh. and the vine... The vine... Get, it, it, it literally, you see the thorns of the vine pierce Zoga's skin and start pulsing no, no, and no, it's no. it is it it is feeding off of Zoga's blood and it is healthier now than it was a second ago and it uses oh. its minor action to go <coughs> pulling Zoga even farther there's That's, a lot of things in this forest that wants to suck out blood yeah it's mm. it's kind of a trend at this point right mm. oh Vampire forest. What was that? Oh, this guy. And okay. if I may say, a rather unpleasant trend. Yes. Co. The vines reach yeah. out and wrap no, no, around no, no, you, no, no, no. like a lover embracing you. But unlike, Aww. unlike at least some of your lovers, this uh -huh. one uses its thorns to pierce the stone of your skin. Um, and start sucking your blood. And you are grabbed, and it does the same thing where it goes, and it kind of drags you forward. Uh, and that's it. Bloodthorn Vine is done. Lavellus. Resisted some of it. Your friends are being 
turned into forest slowly. They sure are. Um, and I can't say I love it. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, look, it may not be the most helpful, but at least it can cut, it can target too. I'm gonna um, invoke, let me get the name real quick. I'm going to invoke uh, Briaris, who is um, particularly famed as an elven hero because uh, they commanded trees as warriors. They, That's they fucking cool. like, called plants to, to come to battle. So I'm going to um, target both of these yeah. uh, real quick. I hope that that worked. Did it work? Lavellis has targeted Bloodthorn Vine yeah. number two and Bloodthorn Vine number one. Awesome. And I'm going to use Grasping Shards. Fight grappling with grappling. Ugh. Yeah, exactly. Except I missed one of them. Um, I might. Oh, jeez. Uh, I don't know whether to waste it or not. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use Elven accuracy. I'm just gonna do it to um to reroll one of those things. Where's the Where's the thing? I have to do this right. Retarget. Yep, you got it. Find number one, and then I do this. Okay, well, that was exactly the same. Yep. Um, so that didn't matter. Now, do me a favor and untarget the... So when you roll damage yeah, or whatever, okay. you don't accidentally damage front. Bloodthorn Vine. There we go. Thank there we you. go. Thank you. All right. Um, okay, and then it should be... Uh, that. Nice. Describe Oh, yeah, what, because I forgot that it does that. Describe what your grasping shards look like. Um, well, I believe... At some point, you described it as like spectral blades of grass. Like it's like I think in this environment, in the forest, it probably looks like at first it's just part of the undergrowth, like just part of the the plant life covering the forest floor. But it's like it grows, and it it. I mean, even in the torchlight, it doesn't seem to have color the way that the rest of the plants do, and it sort of twists around um, the the vines and tries to like pull them down fucking cool twining um and i don't think the slowed will help much because they seem to already be pretty slow but can't hurt you know, but it's yeah slowed. this creature oh god that is humanoid in shape and size but made of vines Wait. and oh, appears dear. appears no 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 evidently <laughs> sinister and malevolent and intelligent emerges from all because they're keep in mind this entire tree is covered in vines and this thing manifests it uh, the vines wrapping around the giant skeleton in the tree twist and rope and tw and writhe until they manifest into this humanoid vine horror oh shit this guy's anyway Bam. uh huh this guy's what <laughs> it goes nerd nerd and then yeah so everybody except Lavellis is in the area of these vicious vines that it summons. And basically all of the ground around you, as you look at your feet, there's grass, there's weeds, there's little tiny plants, there's but there's also grass. vines everywhere on the ground. And they all start to animate and they all start to try to reach out and grasp you. Uh, Y'all, if I have to save the party, you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if this works. Yep. It's definitely going to... Oh, shit. Oh, so far out. Oh, wow. Okay, well... <laughs> yeah, so that's all he does. He just moves over and then he goes... He, he This uh, hissing sound comes from the vine horror and the vines just reach out and start grabbing you and they're going to try and literally crush you they're going to squeeze you to death zoga it's your turn and i think you're about to take some damage zoga drops oh my god what he just dropped on his turn yep oh because, because the, the vines blood. are crushing him yeah you just took five damage from being crushed by vines what is uh i'm restrained does that mean i can't move at all correct how do i get out of being restrained at the end of the turn, you make a saving throw. If you save, you're not restrained and you're not taking ongoing damage anymore. Zoga, you need to make a death save. Uh, right away. Uh, I th uh, he, he yeah, uh, yes, I think so. It's the last making saving throws is the last thing you do, and he on your turn. And the first thing that happened on his turn was he took the damage. The last. So he took the damage on his turn, he, and at the end of his turn, he rolls a death save. Oh, okay. 
Uh, can I still do that now? Yeah. Just a grab anywhere in that, uh, in that box. There we go. All right. That little, that little die icon is just there to show you, hey, if you grab this value, it'll turn into a die. And at the end of the day, oh, look at that. Okay. Well, anyway, and at the end of the day, you could have just rolled a d20. You don't actually need to, but whatever. Uh, all right. So, Oren, you just watched Zoga drop. Yeah. Uh, I will, do we know if Zoga made his death save what's, throw? Um, hang on. What's the... He looks... What's he, the, he's still breathing. So there's still me. there's two still two bloodthorn vines Anna, both of them are damaged. Bloodthorn vine number two, which is the one uh, Ko is attacking, looks very badly wounded. There's only a few tendrils left that can still function. Okay, in that case, what I'm going to do I'm trying to use phase step because I'm pretty sure I can just yeah. teleport out of being like I know I can teleport out of being grabbed, but yeah. I'm wondering if I can do that out of being restrained too. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because if, if you teleport, you leave. If you teleport, you leave the thing that's grabbing you or restraining you behind. Um, because I use an encounter power, that's my move action. So now I can use my standard action. Correct, and you get your flanking, so you get plus two if you if you attack Bloodthorn Vine number two. Okay. So you can uh, just use the modifier. Go ahead. Are Vine one and Vine two adjacent to each other? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to use cleave. Cool. That sounds cool. Um, let's drink versus AC. Let's give that a shot and see how that goes. Oh, God. But I miss. Okay. Let me think real quick. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to use my action point and I'm going to go ahead and take another uh, combat action. At will means I can just keep using it, right? Yep. yep. No limit to how many times you can do it. Uh, you can only do it once per turn. I mean, or well, you know what I mean? You can't just, yeah, you get it. Yep. So I'm gonna try and clean you're still again. you're still you're still flanking. So give yourself plus two again. But uh, I'm not I'm not targeting that character. I'm targeting. Oh, sorry. Bloodborne. You're targeting. Actually, Bloodborne you know what? Vine. That's a good point. That's a fucking good point. I should be targeting. I don't know why I did. I remember thinking I should target Vine two, but I couldn't remember why. So I'm gonna target. It wouldn't Vine matter two. if you rolled so low, you would have missed. Huh? Please. Yes. Hit. 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 Sweet. We needed that. So um, I hit at a cleave, so I get to do one weapon plus strength modifier damage. And an enemy adjacent to you, other than the target, takes damage equal to your strength modifier. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and use this on that guy that I hit. Hmm. Nice. Average damage. Okay. I did 11 damage to it, and it didn't die. No. I nope. may have I okay. may have misled you in my, just, my description. It was bloodied, but it was only barely bloodied. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and do this to the other guy. I got carried away when I saw the red number. The other one's bloodied now, so that's cool. Yeah. OD? If I was to use, so, pressing strike mm -hmm. effect, before the attack, you shift two squares. Mm -hmm. Would that break the resistance? Uh, you can't shift while you're restrained. You can't move. Oh, so right now I just can't move. Correct. I got, I got nothing to roll to try and... Oh, it's not until the end of the turn. Yep, right? you gotta make a saving throw at the end to see if you can get out from this thing it's doing to you. Okay, and then Dragon Breath, each creature in the blast. If I use that here, I'm gonna hurt my own uh, friends. Well, let's assume I? that Zoga is uh, lying on the ground and that you could you could angle your breath so it doesn't hit him. But you gotta put it somewhere where it won't hit Orin. So you probably can't hit the Vine Horror, Bloodthorn Vine 1, Bloodthorn Vine 2, and not Orin. Or yeah. you could pour a potion down oh, Zoga's cool. throat. Oh, he's right next to me. Yes, thank you. Can we have potions, master. <laughs> Actually, that was Zinniel. Uh, that was Zinniel in chat. Thank you, Zinniel. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank so. Thank you, Zinniel. Uh, yeah, I guess that will be my action then. I will uh, reach down, lift up uh, Zoga's head towards me, pull the potion out of my. Uh, out my pocket and just kind of open his throat up and start pouring it down. Rise up, my friend. Rawr. Now, uh, I, what does the potion say? Like, how does it work? Uh, potion of healing. Uh, this simple potion draws on the body's natural healing ability to cure your wounds. Level five. And that's it. Wait, hang on a second. Abilities. Abil powers. Uh. Consumable. Spend a healing surge. Instead of the hit points you would normally regain, you gain 10 hit points. So, yep. uh, so OD, 
yes. remove the potion healing from your inventory? Certainly. Uh, I guess I could just... Uh, just right-click and delete it. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, there it is. Zoga, yep. Tom? Yes. Uh, go oh. ahead and increase... Don't, don't click the Use the Healing Surge button. Just increment the number of healing surges you've used and give yourself 10 hit points. Yeah, okay, so Servanazor, I am going to rule, uh, because I don't know any better and I'm... Uh, you guys need it. Uh, that that's a move action. So if you want to use, actually, oh, isn't cool. your isn't your dragon breath a, a minor action? Uh, my dragon breath is uh, buh, 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 minor. Yeah, so you can do that. Even if that was a standard action, you can do that and breathe. Cool. Now let's work out how I do this dragon breath then. So you just target the target, target. the vine horror and the bloodthorn vine. Yep. And then just make an attack roll. It's got... Yeah, that's the right ones. Yeah, bluff on one and... Yep, yeah, you got it. I, I can okay. see it. I'm watching you. Cool. Dragon breath. Oh. One hit, one miss. Yep, you you hit the uh, you hit the Bloodthorn Vine and you missed the Vine Horror. Okay, let's do the damage. Right, you do track negative hit points, but healing starts at zero. Okay. It's just a little bit of damage there. Every little bit, every little bit counts. Are you done? So that so that's an encounter of power, so I'll get rid of that. And yep. yep. Okay, code. All you. right. It's time to awaken the slumbering hurt on this vine. Ooh. Come on. Yeah, you that's hit? pretty yeah. good. Mm. <laughs> so Status because of that. Dying. Does that mean it's dead, dead? Yep. Oh, okay. Yay. Oh, nice one. Well. What noise does a dying vine make? It it makes a sound like if you took a bundle of dead leaves and then crunched them together. It's like it withers mm. and expires and any vitality that was in it evaporates. And it just, it ends up looking like uh, a bunch of withered vines that have been dead for decades. Mm. Neat. Like it. So we talked oh, uh, at one point. I'm sorry, OD, make a saving throw to get to see if you can stop the ongoing damage and get out of the vines. Oh, can, yes, sorry. Go uh, ahead and continue. Just, just a d20? Well, if you go to your main tab oh, on I your character exactly. sheet, right. click yeah. saving throw, and it will know. It will know, to, It will know. hey, I think it, I think Fantasy Grounds isn't smart enough to get rid of everything, but it'll definitely automatically get rid of the first effect. Oh, what? Oh, there we go. Save hey, success. success, and as you can see, restrained. Oh no, it, it worked. It worked. It removed both of them. Restrained nice. and ongoing damage expired. There you go. Excellent. Continue, please, Justice. Um. So I. Thank so you, is this? So could I jump up here or up here? Um. Can you see where I'm hovering. My are token? you? Are you still? You're grabbed. So no. Oh, I'm grabbed yeah, right you now. Can't, you're restrained. You can't. You can't. The you were. Uh, oh, I'm down here. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, you're you. Potion of healing is a minor action. Yeah. So he so so he trades in. Yeah. He had pl he had plenty of actions to do that. By the way. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. So you're not restrained from the bloodthorn from the vine horror. You're restrained from the uh, vine. That vine's gone. So let's get rid of that. Yeah. So you're not grabbed anymore. Go ahead. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go here, but I need to make a check for it. Yeah, you've right. got a powerful athlete, which lets you um, roll twice when you make a jump check uh, or a climb check. And you've got some other fucking crazy shit, don't you? Are you using uh, your crane's wings? Is that it? Uh, I was I was just gonna I was just gonna jump it because because I don't think I can use my crane's wings right because I've used my awaken the slumbering hurt attack technique. No, nope, that's so that's, I. Uh, 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 well, actually, let's take a look. It seems like a full stand. discipline. Correct. If it says full discipline, then you can't mix and match. So you can use the awaken the slumbering hurt movement technique, which I don't know what is. Um, it has to do with running past a bloodied creature, which yep. was my backup plan. I didn't think I was going to kill the. Well, you can just go ahead and make a jump check if you want to. Let's do that. And is that and a athletic roll. or acrobatics? Uh, it's athletics, and uh, you're going to roll two dice. Okay. I don't know how you do that, really, with um, this system. Just and make one athletics check thing? and then make another one and use the best one. You rolled the same thing twice. Consistency. That's what I'm all about. 
Uh, so I think you only jump three squares because it's divided by... Actually, I think you only jump two squares or something. One, two. Yeah, because you divide by ten. Your crane's movement lets you divide by five, I think. So you're not going to be able to make it all the way there. You okay, were, okay. you were, were you, you were here, correct? Yeah, yeah. So I can't so, like run forward one well, and then actually, leap. Actually, uh, yeah, absolutely, you can. Go for it. Uh, so yeah, so I run and I step on the uh, rib cage of this giant and I say, "I'm sorry," and then I leap over uh, Oren's head and land here, and then I can step here. What a polite giant yeah. man! Sure. And yeah, and then then that's that. Your turn, uh, vines. Uh, this Bloodthorn Vine is still targeting Zoga. Actually, oh, no. No one has attacked it. Isn't it also still marked? I did attempt to attack it. No, I, I changed my mark to the two. Ah. No one has killed it. Well. Uh... Yeah, I also tried to attack it and did not succeed. <laughs> These things are hard to kill. It's going to switch its target Fudge. to Orin. And miss. Fuck off. Good. Yay. And now it's Lavellis. Hi, that's me. I would like to, to step up uh, a wee bit closer. Um, okay. So, this might seem like overkill. I'm gonna summon an angel of fire. Um, oh, for an I, angel of fire. Oh, for an angel of fire. I would love to summon this angel of fire as as uh, close to this vine horror as okay, I can get it. Let's see. Let me grab you an angel of fire. Like here. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess so. Look, I'm gonna burn everybody. This giant fucking, <laughs> this fiery angel. Yeah, which, by the way, by the way, I'm invoking Eileen, uh, oh, and cool. it, it looks like I, like, open my mouth and I breathe fire, and it just collects and takes form. Um, the angel, who's the angel gonna attack now? Look, the angel um, can only attack in a close burst as a standard action, which is not good okay, <laughs> for wait, a, a everyone and my burst? allies. Well, I can. Yeah. Uh, he can't. He can't actually get into that square. Trees, right? Yeah. Right. That's yeah. that's that's my problem. Um, so this is you know, not great in that regard. Um, Are you gonna kill this NPC that we're trying to save? He's already dead. I that guy's dead. <laughs> Oh. He's dead. Great. That means I'm only gonna kill you. Um, Sorry, I, I didn't know. I didn't realize it wasn't obvious that this guy was dead. Sorry. Um, you guys never tried okay. to heal check. I just gave you information you shouldn't have, but I forgot. Yeah, you were attacked before you. Look, I'm just, check. I'm just gonna have to do it. There's nowhere I can stand that won't kill everybody. Um, Resistance to fire. <laughs> I'm a dragon. Oh, yeah. you do. You have resistance. I okay. Do. Well. I don't know. Mm, Mm, okay, if well, you let's can, try this If you guys can hide guy, inside Cervanazor, you'll be fine. Yeah, look, I mean, no matter what I do, Zoga's toast, like, literally. Um, okay, well... <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have a toast token. <laughs> it is token. what it is. Hang on, let me find a toast it token. It is oh, what it is. Oh, no, wait, I'm trying to draw a, I'm trying to draw a square. Give me a second. Eh, eh. Is that three? That's three. Okay, eh, eh. A lovely colorful uh, square. Eh. Look, I can't get the vine this way, but with hopefully fewer people will take. Zoga's uh, prone, but not dead. Right. Yeah. Can the angel like hover above him? Um, <laughs> like, like that. Can it fly? Uh, it has speed six and fly six. Hover. Yeah, you can put him over Zoga. Over Zoga. Okay, great. Well, let's. Let's do that then, so that I can at least get the vine as well for the trade-off of how much damage I'm about to do to my dying allies. All right. So now is that it? Okay. I think I'm clicking the right thing. Shoot! Really? Holy crap! I don't know what happened. Oh my gosh. Um, I applied the, the roll to the vine horror, 
and it says that it was a miss with a 17. So I was I was oh. being surprised is what I was being. I'm just applying this to everybody. Doing it <laughs> even to the corpse. Oh, Zoga's underneath me. I don't know whether that'll read as Zoga. Let me move my angel for a second. Oh, toast! <laughs> oh my fucking god. Great. <laughs> right. Cool, I hit everyone except the vine horror. That's She wonderful. said literally That's toast. That's exactly what I wanted. You're right. <laughs> Sorry. Hang on, let me, let me un... Uh, did, did I take damage from that? Zorga. There we go. I apologize for my... Oh, and I rolled my max. Little human. I rolled max damage. Cool. So, uh... <laughs> Yeah, so this <laughs> this blazing angel uh, arrives on the scene, and um, <laughs> Oren is like, "What the fuck is happening?" Look, it seemed like a good idea when I didn't realize where the tree was. I'm reminded of playing D and D with uh, Jerry, where he would just randomly cast spells because <laughs> he didn't know how he, his character was uh, terrified of his own abilities and ended up killing half the party. Um, so, D uh, Dale, did everything work properly? Did it apply all the effects and everything? Do you need me to do anything? Um, I think it applied it all the effects because it, it, it didn't just apply does damage, damage to I don't me. Think it... Yeah, so he has. I don't know. Yeah, so he, uh... he should have. He should have twenty five wounds, which puts him back down. So all that work that Cervanazor went to, sacrificing his only magic bad. item, to bring mm -hmm. his, his new pal Zoga back from the dead. Uh, Oh my god. Coast, Blame the tree. Coast Blame the tree. <laughs> so the vine horror is um, super not happy with any of this, but it's surrounded by enemies. So I think it might... Um, no one's done any damage to him, right? No. no. Tried. There's a giant fucking angel here. Can he attack the mm. angel? I mean... He could try. Does the angel have... What, what, what does your ability say? Let, does let it me, have armor class and up, shit? Let me look it up. All summons have summoner defenses. So it has your stats, basically. Because the whole idea here is that, like, obviously it's going to attack this fucking giant flaming angel. Right? Which is what you want. Yeah, that, that seems... <laughs> right? You And so you want it to attack that thing. So that's kind of your part of your deal as a, a controller is you can... So it's going to try and just fucking claw this thing. It's gonna hit. Oh no. And it does some damage to the Angel of Fire. It only does eight. The Angel of Fire is still up. Yeah. And that's the Vine Horror's turn. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Um, actually, what I should do is I should go into NPCs and drag the Angel of Fire into the NPCs. Oh. Boom! So now, Dale, wait, anytime. Wait, wait, this is wait, super wait. Cool. What? I have an opportunity attack as the Angel. Okay. Do I get to use that when I... No, wait, that's not how opportunity attacks work. Never mind, okay. go away. I, just, I, just, <laughs> I added your Angel of Fire, not just to the combat tracker, but I also added it to my list of available monsters. So the next time you summon him, we won't have to do this. I'll just go oh, sweet. and have the Angel of Fire. Awesome. He'll, have, he'll have the right stats and the right defenses and all that other stuff. I'm In sorry fact, I told you to go away. <laughs> friendly, he's friendly. Okay. So, uh, whose turn is it? It's uh, Did Zoga go? Zoga's. Yes. No, he's, uh... Oh, you did? He, did it. he saved. Oh, well, he made a save. What was he trying to save against? He's down. Yeah. Okay, so it's my turn? Yep. I can't move there. My chat is crazy. saying putting the friendly and the fire in friendly fire. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, yeah, that's quite clever. Poor Madam Crisco. Uh. Somebody in chat who, for the English was not their first language, could not understand what I was saying when I was talking about OD, and they thought, instead of saying Matt O'Driscoll, they thought I was saying Madam Crisco. Madam Crisco. <laughs> Alter ego. <laughs> Should definitely name. be the angel's name from now on. <laughs> Madam, yeah. I summoned the Madam Crisco. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had dialogue for the, for the angel to say, but I forgot the name of the elf hero. It's Eileen. Eileen the Burner. Yeah, that the angel says Eileen's memory is not forgotten as it fires everybody around there. Ha ha! You sorry. Piece of shit. So, is your turn done? I gain a plus one power bonus to attack rolls against it and a plus two power bonus to damage rolls against the target. So, like, Zoga is no longer underneath the angel of fire. I'm sorry. Yes, he is. I moved him to make my life easier. 
Okay, then I'm going to use my minor, minor action to give him potion. I enjoyed making Zoga's icon toast. <laughs> that was fun. That was pretty good. Okie dokie. In that case, I... Gal with no name says, it's wonderfully dark that he's being constantly revived, only to be brutalized again. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Sir Venazor. Let's go here, then we flank the Vine Horror with Co, right? <laughs> I am going to try and hit it with my Howling Strike. He still howls like a dog. Arroo! Very confusingly. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, 17. Um. Oh, I didn't target. It's, you don't have to target something. I can just tell you. You miss. Okay. Wow. Bum. Wait, Bum did you add your plus two for... Um... No. Then you hit. Many mistakes. Okay, cool. Now I'll target him. There you go. And now, so I just do my damage. Uh, my howling strike. Hello, tiny kitty. I love you. Look how handsome and fat you are. 16 damage. Wounded. That's the ah. first That's the first damage the Vine Horror has taken. Wow, oh, goodness. God. We have to get... Oh, God. So the first so... attack that's hit. So it's 18 or maybe 19 to get this guy. Yeesh. Yeesh. Uh, Yeesh. Yeah. There you go. Co, get him. All right. Well. That was fucking I cool, Anna. It's time. Ooh, I think it's time to attack with my dragon's tail. Uh, with my draconic friend on the other side. Uh, so I have flanking, so plus two. Yep. I have it targeted, so I'm going to do my attack technique. Oh. Yes! Just what I wanted. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. I guess that's my turn, everyone. Let's just move to the uh, ever-loving Madame Crisco. Lavellis, okay, what does Madame Crisco I, do? I imagine people don't want me to do that again. <laughs> Correct. So, I can do one thing. It could just go flame on and like you know. <laughs> can I have stepped away so that Madame Crisco can come see You're out of the I range. Was? You're out of range of Madame Crisco. Uh, I know, but I don't want Madame Crisco to hurt Zoga. Um look, okay. <laughs> let's um okay, let's just uh can I, I can't move the Angel of Fire. So if, if the Angel of Fire could just back up a little bit, <laughs> just make some space. Uh, you mean, I'm like, just gonna back just... up? Yeah, okay. yeah. Cause oh wait, no, that'll get an attack of opportunity. Let's can leave the... it where it is. Well can it shift? Yeah, it can it can use its movement uh, to shift. Yeah. If you only move if you but... only move one square, you don't provoke attacks of opportunity. Right, but does shift take your movement action yeah. or does it take your action action? It takes your movement. Okay, cool. Because, because it uses my actions, so I, if it was an action action, I wouldn't want to do that. Um, but yeah, okay, it can shift out the way, that's nice. Um, and let's just go back to an old standard, let's just Avenging Light, the oh. the guy in the face. Because, I mean, someone next to him is bloodied, right? If TubeCon ever happens, I have to go dressed as Madame Christo, the Angel of Fire. You should go <laughs> dressed as Sir Vanazor. <laughs> oh, but it's versus Fort! Oh yay, that's nice. So I hit. Yeah. Um, now because Avenging. Um, what? What? Yeah, and you hear a choir of um, voices. Um Okay, now let me see. Bloodied ally is adjacent to the target, it deals extra damage. Okay, so I hit this button instead. Wow. <laughs> you don't roll damage, you just do three? I'm a bloodied ally. Oh I, I have to click both. That's it. Okay. There we go. It's nine plus three. The Vine Horror does not like the situation it finds itself in. It is going to use its movement to shift without provoking uh, attacks of opportunity. One second, because my thing has something weird where it's like a one second, one second. Because even if a shift happens. I think you're right. I think I remember it's under your uh, combat challenge, I believe. You already your challenge? Whenever an enemy marked by you is adjacent to you and shifts or make an attack that does not include you, you get a free melee attack as an immediate interrupt. Yeah, motherfucker. The thing also where it's like the interrupt it actually stops it from Oh yeah. Right. God, thank God finally. Finally. 
Some good fucking combat. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bloody. Yep. You have Yay! bloodied the vinyl. It uh, is it is moved, so it's not being flanked by all these assholes. Is it marked by you, Anna? It is. It now. is marked by you. So it's gonna target you and it's gonna untarget the angel of fire. So it tries to uh reach out with um they look like claws, but they're just giant thorns. And it misses. Next. Boom. Look how fast that was. Nice. All right. <clears throat> Zoga. Zog yes, something. Safe. Listen, man, you didn't get the title Borhart for lying on the ground. Dying. That's right. Oh, did, uh, did so Anna get him up? Anna gave him, uh, gave him a uh, potion. Nice. So he's got to stand up, which I believe is his move action. And then he can attack if he wants to. Or he can do whatever the fuck right. he wants. He can do anything cool. Uh, I stand up. And um, I'm going to crack my knuckles. And uh, and I'm going to lead by example. Hit. Nice. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, yes. yes. All right. So that does... Uh, Ooh. A nice little Eight. 10 damage. A little below average, yeah. Good. And uh, everybody Is gains everybody combat. Here? Everybody everybody gains combat advantage <laughs> until the start of my next turn. I'm going to say to myself, that's right. That's how it's done. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. Oh. One. one. Well, it's a healing surge plus one. Oh, okay. Oh, the six plus the one. Oh, yep, the cool. D six is in addition to his normal healing surge. So Zoga only has six wounds right now. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and shift down to here. Well, actually, I don't even need to shift. I'm just gonna move down here so I can get advantage on this guy. You do already I have advantage. In that case, I'm gonna move here. <laughs> so in case he tries to move away, I'm going to. Use Steel Serpent Strike on this guy. That sounds cool. Steel serpent Strike! Yeah. Tom, remember you have awesome. you have one extra at will that your character doesn't really have. Oh, yes. Um, so, I, you don't have to do anything about it right now. I gave, you the, I gave you Brash Assault so that you could try it out. And at some point in the future, at your discretion, you can be like, uh, I like this, I don't like that one, and delete the one you like the least. You hit. So fucked. I think uh, it's two weapon damage. That's a lot of damage. Yep. You kill yes. Him. You kill the fucking Lighthor. dead. Got it. I nice. just stab him straight Hell through yeah. his tendrils yeah. and I just cut him out from the ground so he just topples over. <laughs> Hell yes. Just weed whack the motherfucker. Yep. The vine horror uh, severed from the vines that give it life by the elf warrior. The humanoid figure collapses to the ground and you see the vines that made up its body pulsing and now spilling blood out until eventually it uh, ceases to move. And that's the end of the encounter. I'll give you guys a short rest. <laughs> the Vanazar needs to like just pat himself. You guys can spend you guys can spend roll. you guys can spend healing yeah. surges. Remember to um, remember you have healing word. Back, right? You have healing word, uh, Tom. Oh yeah. Thank Just you. while we're having a rest, the angel makes a nice little bonfire out oh, of the nice. remains <laughs> of the vines. Thanks. I'm healthy again. How long does this thing last, Dale? I guess it goes away. Uh, it at doesn't the end. say. So I uh, guess it probably goes away yeah. at the end of the encounter if it's an encounter power. I have like, uh, it's not an encounter uh, power, it's a daily power. Oh, it's a daily power. Daily. Yeah. I, all yeah. of your powers are daily. Yep. They're yep. all Dale like. Yep. 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 <laughs> but you might be fireproof as well. Look, we both learned something here today. Yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> Angels of fire go away at the end of the encounter. All right. Somebody so, in chat said that. Uh, I believe it. They're still. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Everyone is stoked about that, probably. Uh -huh. Except me. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, I would have considered something different if I'd fully understood where that tree was. Well, I mean, this is how you learn. <laughs> I'm gonna know. poke around this body, like, that came off Okay, it falls, it falls to the ground. And search it, see if there's any sort of clues or anything on there. Um... Uh, How's he dressed? Is he dressed like one of the troops? He's dressed like a uh, human peasant. He looks very like the kinds of people that you folks met in the Dancing Goblin. Is he young? Mid-20s. Does he have any markings on him? Yes. Like, like, what kind of markings? He has a rend across his chest, like something with giant claws split him open. Does it seem reasonable that it would have been the vine horror or the other vines? Looks way bigger than that. Oh. Uh-oh. Like that dinosaur bad. big? That's... Yeah. <laughs> like dinosaur big, I'd say. That's accurate. Fucking knew it. Oh, boy. We're in a jungle. Prehistoric jungle. What's this place called, actually? The, the pool? The giant something? Giant's rest. rest. Giant's rest. Nothing um, else on him, though. No, like, searching his pockets and that. Nothing. Uh, let's see. He's got... Um... I think it's gold if he's got any. <laughs> he's got 24 silver pieces. Damn. Aha. Weird. Bad. Pocket that. Uh, how do I add something to my... Item. Did he have any weapons or armor on him, or was he just no. some show? No. How long? Mm. His uh, hands, how his hands, his hands are calloused. I beg your pardon, uh, Orin. I was gonna say, how decomposed is he? Mm, not at all. Oh, he looks fresh. You want to make a healing check? I do. Okay. Yeah, that sounds cool. I want to make a healing check. So we'll give it a shot. I think plus five is as good as. Ah! Oh, it's gonna be a sixteen. It rolled over to an eight. <sighs> um, rigor mortis is set in, but it, it it seems recent. He's not like a. It, it certainly hasn't been thirty six hours since he died. Okay. Servanazor, like any knight, takes silver from the peasantry. <laughs> yep. Well, I mean, his cor his corpse doesn't have any use for it. Right. Servanazor could spend it on ale. What? Drunk at night of Good King. Or you could you could donate it to the local church. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the angel on your shoulder who says that? And you're just like, uh. <laughs> yeah. Got to shoot it off. Um. So there's a giant tree directly in front of us. So I, this sounds like we might have to choose left or right. Hang on, Dale. Could you stop for a second? Sorry, I didn't have you clicked, so as you moved around, the viewers did not get to see where you went. But now I think they have. Go ahead. Should I do it again? Should I? No, no, back? no, it, it, no, no, no. It, it, it tracked your, um, it tracked your shit. Oh, interesting. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see. There's only four of us. Lavellus has disappeared, as far as most of you know. Yeah, yeah, she's out of my sight. Yeah. Mm. Oh, and there goes. There's a big space up here. So maybe we go up, up, we go northward? Can we, uh, like, make a nature check yeah. to, to look for, like, bodies of water or signs of a water body since we know we're looking for, like... Yeah. Now let's all remember that I roll terribly. <laughs> um... Take anything he says. Oh, with you can use salt. perception to follow tracks. Whoa! You can. That's what I'm reading. Because I was like, I've got great perception, oh. and I feel like if I can look around and be like, there's some moss, which indicates like moisture. So like maybe we. What's your perception? Along. I'm a plus five on perception. I have plus seven. Blimey, that is I good. Can. What do your elf eyes see? <laughs> All right, there. Um, so y'all folks, hey. Um, there's, there's some moisture in the air, um, so I'm just going to suggest that we head due north. Where are you? <laughs> oh, we're literally just a few. So, hey, you. uh, hey, you can't see in the dark. By the way. He literally could not see her. <laughs> Hello, um, visionless losers, please <laughs> Okay, I'm going to follow Lavella, sir. Okay. I'll take it slowly. Huh? 
Oh, gee, gotta that. drag the mat. Gotta are we just gonna keep? Is this okay, Matt? Like that's how fine. this? As long as as okay. long as you guys are sticking together, that's fine. It's what I want to avoid is somebody just abusing the privilege and going and dragging is their character. Is this a mushroom? Uh, is what? A, no, it's a it's a tree trunk. Tree trunk. Oh. Should we just should, should we just try? Could you, oh, she, should could we just? Oh, sorry, I'm oh, just look, watching. Look, look. <laughs> so mad as well. Could, sorry. Could we just try walking quietly? I know we're not going to be great at it, but like, could we try? <laughs> There's a thing over here on the top left. Do you see this, Lavellus? Huh? Oh, I do see this. <laughs> what is, is this? That? What is that? It's a cart. Oh. It's an abandoned cart. Oh. 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 Can we do with it? What's on, what's on the cart? Around it? it, yeah. Lavellas, do you want to set fire to the cart for no reason? Okay, look. <laughs> if, if you hadn't picked a fight with some plants, maybe I wouldn't have to set anything on fire. <laughs> Honestly, who um, gets beat my plants? There's a lot of stuff in this cart. There are pots. Um, there are uh, the tools you need to there's the canvas and poles hammers everything you need to set up a tent there's a lot of stuff in this cart oh hmm. whoa this might uh, be the car oh, body of water oh i think oh. we may no this can't be it <laughs> what why not I'm just kidding. I'm oh, kidding. the cart uh, also has um Oop. there are ah. huge gouges in the Oh. In the side of the, in the wood of the cart, as though some creature was trying to attack someone in the cart. Okay. Uh, like that at all? It's something we could check to try and work out what kind of creature it is. Um, nature? Yeah, nature. Nature is for monsters. Go on, um, do it. Is this Fuck the kind of, well. is this the kind of cart also where, um, like a Ooh. horse would draw? Fourteen. Yes. But they probably used like um, uh, an ox or something. But yeah. Okay. And it's gone. Yep. Are there any tr uh, oh, no. tracks leading away from the front of the cart that maybe it ran away, or is it just no tracks whatsoever? Because it might. So, Zervanas made a roll. What was you? Oh, it, um. Nature. I'm trying to work out what the scratches are on the cart. When will my uh, Anna, do you want to make a uh, uh, what what skill do you want to use? What skills the skill for searching perception. for tracks? Is it perception? Yes, yeah, sir. All right. uh, I ate your baby. It's State Azure. It's a it's a four hour live stream from a YouTuber named State Azure. And that's pretty good, actually. Um, yeah, there are tracks headed east. Um, there's also a lot of blood here. There are broken like arrow tips. Uh, chipped, uh, chipped weapons. Oh. Mm. Are they, do they look like modern weapons and mm -hmm. stuff, or is it like yeah. stone? Okay. No, they're like, uh, arrowhead, mostly arrowheads, and then, like, part of a short sword that's broken off, and there's quite a lot of tracks, actually. You said there's lots of blood around? Mm hmm Can I use a heal skill check to, like, taste the blood to see if it's from, like, the oxen or if it's human blood? Sure. Or if I can detect, like, maybe what kind of Warren, of course, is familiar with the taste of both. Of course. I like my meat rare. <laughs> like I like my men. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> rare, <laughs> yes. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, <laughs> I like me. Uh, I'm sorry. So that was... This, oh, oh, so, okay, so that's the... I'm, I'm, I'm tasting the blood. Yeah. <laughs> well, this blood, I, it's iron rich, tastes human. This is human blood. I've had that before. Mm. Uh, well, okay. So there's obviously some kind of big gnarly thing stomping around here that... Uh... Oh, it's uh, Owlbear. I recognize those claw marks. Oh. Well. Should we, in, in preparation for potentially having to fight this thing, should we set up a camp with this encampment supply I mean let's let's not look a gift cart in the mouth like should we should we camp <laughs> out rest um, up here yeah. <laughs> yeah if we do I'd recommend that we you know not do it here what if we set a trap Ooh. 
What kind of trap? The kind where we spring out and smash it with our clubs. <laughs> you hear, you hear <laughs> a sound. I like that kind of one. What's the sound? It sounds like um, something Ooh. splashing in the water. Oh. Initiative. Wow. Oh, oh. God. oh boy. That's not fair. Alberus can't swim. Yeah, I don't, surely it's not Albert. Yeah, famously, feathers. famously. Four and twenty. <laughs> Four and twenty blackbirds. The plus. Do we have the plus two? Okay. I have a really good there. feeling this time. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, mercy. Oh, mercy. Oh. oh no! I see something? A frog? No. A frog? What the fuck is that thing? Rivet, frog. <laughs> frog. A frog. Oh, a, a frog. A, I'm a, gonna a, be honest with you. I'm not convinced this killed them. A uh, <laughs> like a large dog-sized frog leaps out of the water. It, its back is covered in mushrooms, like a fungus that it's growing on the back of the frog. Oh, that's not good. Um, and it's Co. Uh, Co realizes why his reflection didn't look right for a moment. <laughs> uh, and uh, <laughs> he's going to do the old one two punch, his dragon tail technique to knock this creature prone. Uh, I just love this visualization well, you didn't, you of didn't. you like. Oh, sorry. Uh, let I me mean, tell you if you hit. Hang on. Uh, AC. Yeah. yeah, you hit. Oh, cool. I was did you, drag did you just drag the number 16 onto the dude? Did. Wasn't that dope? And it worked. Yeah, that's <laughs> that was awesome. I didn't, it, that I didn't, that worked cool. for me earlier, too. That's awesome. You drag, do you drag it onto the combat tracker or onto the token? It, it either will work. Onto the token. Oh, cool. Get it onto the token. Oh. Awesome. Um, so, yeah. So, oh, wait. Let's try this. Hmm. Prone. Nice. The frog flips over onto its back. Its legs start kicking in there. Yes. Nice, nice. Uh, now yeah, I would I'm like to uh, whack it with my torch. Make sure to hit up your combat advantage. Uh, yeah, and then uh, I think I have a movement technique that I could do now. One ally or prone enemy swap places. Well, I don't think it would be super. What do you all think? Should I swap places with this frog so it's farther from the shore? I think probably he's prone right now. And, and flank. I'm going to leave him. Yeah. Phanazor and Lips will be able to smack him around a little bit. Ooh, oh, it's my turn. Okay, that's why. Uh, I'm assuming that I can't go into the same square as the cart is on, unless I decide to stand up on the cart or something. Uh, yeah, actually, Servanas are not to be able to is not to be able to stand there either. In fact, I'm gonna make an Sorry, executive decision to move him. What about doing wrong? The, the cart takes these four squares up. Gotcha. You can stand in the cart if you want. Like we could assume that Servanas was like rummaging around in the cart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a good rummage. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and use grappling strike on this froggy. You are, uh, by the way, you are in the water. Is the water immediately just like a drop off, like deep? I mean, the, or is it like a shore. It's it's um, it's it's it, you're ankle deep in the water. Uh, going for a little paddle. Sounds like I shouldn't be in the water. I'm just letting you know. I, it seems obvious to me that you're standing in the water based on where your square is, uh, based on where your your person is. But I just want to make sure you understood that. Is there a danger of standing in the water? Um, I've played D&D &D for 30 years and I've never seen anything bad happen in water. That's a lie. There's always fishes or some shit. There's something. I wonder if there are any wanting. leeches in here. There yeah. certainly aren't. Just a frog and we're killing it, so I am suspicious. <laughs> yeah, it's a little too, a little too easy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use a grappling strike on this guy. I got him targeted? Okay, cool. Alright, let's see if I can grab him. A track. Uh, uh, uh. Four! Oh, you... Wow! By the way, all am the I... Flailing, all the flailing, like, throws me off balance a little bit, and although I swing, I just... Yeah, I totally whiff. Hello. Uh, Alright, let's get this frog. Hey, Kilmus. Uh, Welcome back. 
Do I get advantage on this frog? Because uh, yep, you absolutely do. Yep, so bonking plus, plus two, right? Yep. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -a and remember, you can just up. if if you get plus two a lot, uh, you can just you can just drag the plus two from the modifier into one of your hotkeys. Thank you, Doroc. Uh, uh, Fifteen. And then you press that button, and you'll give yourself plus two. Oh, I didn't target. You don't have to. You, you can just drag that fifteen from the chat box onto the frog, and it'll tell you if you hit. We just learned that. Well, that's and you did. Cool. Yeah. Huh. So it has to be fifteen. Okay. Let's, Does it uh, do some damage to this frog? It's not. Its AC is not fifteen. Damn. Eighteen. Blooded. Oh, this poor frog. 200 viewers doesn't seem like a lot, but yeah, we're okay. Gonna eat. We're going to eat it. Uh, I'm going to stay there because because uh, Leveles is next. It's good. She'll get flanking. So, yeah, turn complete. Cool. Okay. Uh, stand by, stand by, stand by, stand by. Mm -hmm. Standing by. Red five. No! Uh, you see, uh, you see is this. Is this somebody's pet? Um... <laughs> <laughs> You Whoops. see this frog-looking motherfucker, like a frogman. And actually... Fully wag it, Twitcher. Yeah. He, he streams on Twitch. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, and actually, it it smells... As soon as this thing emerges from the water, fuck, it smells bad. It smells oh, rancid. No. This thing is covered in fucking slime, and it's disgusting. Uh... I know what you're about to do, but you I do, do think not. that I do. But I think Zoga, based on where he's from and what he is, he should have a resistance to whatever that is. <laughs> Let's see. No offense, Zoga. <laughs> Who's going? Uh, the the bullywug twitcher is. The bullywug. Uh. <laughs> it hurls a javelin at Zoga and does max damage to Zoga. Nine points. What the fuck? Jeez. Oh, Zoga's getting a royal battering. Another one. Oh, good. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry, what just happened here? Uh, the bullywood twitch is appearing all over the place. Same thing. The, another bullywug, another bullywug, uh, emerges. Actually, he's a little bit too close to the land there. That's that's not good for him. He wouldn't do that. He attacks him in the water. He's uh, he comes out of the water and goes thump and hurls a javelin at Lavellus and it uh, thumps into her and, and uh, causes some woundage. That one's in the dark for me. Oh, good, good, good. I just good, saw good, a javelin good. come out. Now. Good. That's right. Torches. Gah! the hell is this guy? Bad lord. Traveling with humans is bad luck. That's what your parents told you. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. We've had a bit of bad luck traveling with a wood elf. <laughs> wow, what the fuck is that? Oh, cool. So the this bullywug shaman comes out of the water and goes Bleh! and a giant ball of fire erupts out of his throat oh, and what? sails across the ground and it lands like right here and it it bursts no. right Where here. Does it land? Right there and bursts oh. there. Oh uh, bad, 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 bad. So <laughs> Is it against dexterity or something? Sorry. Like a de reflex check? Uh, you'll find out what it is. <laughs> Please. Not, not reflex, that's my worst one. Yeah. Like, imagine... What if, what if this what if this fireball is against Will? That'd be great. Uh-huh. Will Ooh, or fortitude? Plus eight with necessary sacrifices. What? Plus sacrifices. What? Uh, but necessary sacrifices doesn't apply we right just, now. He just, like, sepukus himself and just... Thank like, you, Kalmas. King of the Gifted Subs Club, 16, 1,680 gifted subs. So multiply 1,680 by five, and that's how much money Kalmus has done used supporting us. 
Kelmus might be the only person who spent more money on us than I have on Star Citizen. Um, uh, but yeah, next to our so yeah. Why? Why are there so many? Ooh! No! 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 Boom! Oh, you're lucky. Actually, the person who got the crit, it didn't matter because he rolled max damage. Uh, so. How comforting. Yeah, and you hear, it, not only do you take fire damage, your ears are fucking ringing. It's this explosion. You take fire damage and thunder damage. Uh, and the Bullywug Mudlord. Mud that? that? That was the Mudlord? Yeah, that was Sorry, the Shaman. Yeah. Let's check thing real quick. Co managed to kind of avoid quick. the, yeah. Um, okay, so Lavellus. Armor of Wrath. Um, so this 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 is a reaction that just happened. Eh. Okay. Eh. Okay. You hear the mug go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, let me just, uh, click that. Boop. Um. So yeah, and I push him two squares. Okay. He goes happily now out of range of your shit. Oh, okay, almost, not really. Great. Not really, but he will be soon. Um, so that was. Thank you, disrespect to Killin. I thought that. Krillin. Um, yes. Um, 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 real quick, can mm -hmm. I ask whether I. Because cause there's the, the flanking thing, but I don't know whether that applies to spell type powers. Yeah, it does, I think. Yeah, sure. It does? Yeah, cool. Why not? Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Thunder of Judgment. Thunder, Thunder of Judgment. Of judgment. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> uh, I, am, I am invoking, this is only a name, doesn't have any description, but I just liked it. Gwynagad, the Summer King. Fuck. Um, yeah. Dale, you have, you, 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 your, the work you've done just today has has created more content for the Wood Elves in my world than I ever have. Well, <laughs> you may be the first person to play a wood elf in my game. Really? I think Serial is technically a Most... wood elf because she was part of the. Oh yes, yeah, Serial was. A... Serial, I think Serial was a high part elf. Of the same court. Yeah. No, I think she. I think she was part of the same court as I am. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, based yeah on you know, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and she did, um, actually just did a really cool job, I think, of playing an elf in w human lands who doesn't really understand like human attitudes towards magic or even time but you know she she didn't go into the backstory of all the different elven heroes or anything just for safety going to use elven accuracy on that um last person so let me see who was that that was you guys have done a lot of damage to this bully work, to this uh fro frog we have to okay hang on a minute i need to fix something Oh, oh cool. yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, now retarget them. I believe I am I targeting all the right ones? No, I'm not anymore. Where are you? There we go. Um, and then I can roll my damage. Yay! Broke. Broke. I think he just croaked. Oh <laughs> That's my interesting. god! <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, you guys you guys got that one on deck. You guys Just had yes. that in the chamber ready oh, to go. Oh, so good. You guys kill the uh, Sporeback Frog, and as a result, stand by. Mm -hmm. No, no, the, no. The spores on its back burst. Wait, wasn't it still on its back? So they just burst into the ground, right? They don't do yeah. anything to either of us. You guys all take, those of you who are affected by this, take poison damage. And, um, uh, just for the record, uh -oh. sorry, real, real quick, I just want to have it known that um, NASA the Bullywug Twitcher 2 should have taken 11 damage because I re-rolled with Elven Accuracy. And I can just go and grab it and drag it on there if you'd like me to. That would be wonderful. Thank Bullywug you. Twitcher 2? Yeah, you can Done. get back to, to murdering us with spores. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I just uh, targeted and rolled. I don't know who it affected. But some of y'all just took some poison damage and you are going to continue suffering a minus two penalty to your attack rolls until you save. Lovelace is down. And the yeah, Lovelace is dead. Yeah. Oh, cool. Awesome. <laughs> so I just go, boom, <laughs> shockwave, ripples out across the water, and then you look back and I am fully on the ground. You choke. You, you literally watch the elf choke and apparently pass out 
uh, from the spores on the back of the frog that are now burst and on hanging the in there. Side, it means I can't set anyone on fire anymore. That's true. Yeah, that makes me a little inclined not to get you back up. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Uncle I Funkle did goes, something Damn, good. Ground seems nice. If you know what you're doing, yep. I just went select, select, Sorry. select, roll, apply damage, apply effects, happen automatically. <laughs> Sorry, what'd you say, Dan? I've earned a sleep. I have earned the right to sleep. I just <laughs> did the best I'm gonna do the entire session. <laughs> me, 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 me. Yeah, this poor back frog is dead. Let's remove him. So now there's just these fucking bullywugs. Lavellus, are you done? Oh. oh, sorry. Make a saving, make a sorry. death save. Sorry, sorry. Make a death save. Uh, main. Yeah. And then this, right? That was crazy. That, that would... <laughs> no, so go ahead and click one. So close. <clears throat> it was so close. Uh, so yeah, you can see that well, Lavellus someone... appears to be passed out. My thunder of judgment might have pushed them back two seconds. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, Covenant of Wrath. So um, you also push the target a uh, number of squares equal to your constitution modifier. Holy crap. Um, but I don't know whether that only applies if it's one target or if it applies to all of them. So. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Are you um, asking me so a question? The attack I am. Um, so Thunder of Judgment, uh, because I have the Covenant of Wrath, um, also Sorry. pushes the target a number of squares equal to my constitution modifier. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, because because I can choose to attack one, two, or three targets, there mm -hmm. are some extra things I get if I only target one. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whether that only applies if I nope, it applies one. Or the three. Covenant of Wrath ability is... Um, uh, as my reading on this is... If you only target one creature, in addition, the target is dazed. Uh, I am going to rule that it applies regardless of whether you target one or many. So neat. It's well, up in to that you case, to case both of the pushed three. Uh, who's pushed three? Both of the Bullywood Twitchers. The Twitches. One, yeah. two, three into the deep water. One, two, three. Uh, Zoga, you Wait, are. What? What's up, Zoga? Zoga, you are up to your uh, chest in water. Do you have a swim speed? I'm just causing Zoga so much trouble. Where did that Where did that guy go? Nah, <laughs> I didn't like that either. <laughs> he, <laughs> he got where did, he, where did he go? He got hit by thunder of judgment and got got thrown up and out of the water, and you hear a splash so about 20 feet oh. into the darkness. Yeah, Zoga moved, I think, before that happened. So yeah, I, I didn't realize that was a thing. Okay, well, you can go back to where you were and, and do something different. I'm just causing you trouble. It's bad news for you guys. That means there's three bullywogs out there that can see you, and you guys can't see them. And they can swim. Yeah, so yeah, I can't see anything now, enemy-wise. Um, I'm going to... duck behind this cart and suggest to my compatriots that we uh, try and bait them out from the water. But uh -huh. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna go so far back that I can't see anybody anymore. Do so. you have uh, yeah, do you have your torch still? Yeah. Well, me and Lavellus can see you um, because we have the well, yeah, because we have the, the night vision or whatever it is. So the inches Vanna's are in co, as long as they follow suit then you can move back quite a bit. Oh, I it, can see him because he's holding a torch. Yeah, I have one as well. Oh, that's yeah. a good point. He could, he could go miles away, I'd still see him. It's only when you two duck off into the woods. I'm like, oh, where have they gone? <laughs> right, I just don't want to run so far away that I can't healing word you guys if I need to. Oh, uh, yeah, or inspiring word. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Um, is is Lavellus down right now? Yes. Yes. I don't look very much. No, she's not. Has HP. No. Has HP. Oh, schmuck. No, I up. shouldn't. Yeah. Schmuck on fuck her. Oh, what? Yeah, I got healed a little bit. <gasps> Thank you, Schmuck. I didn't deserve it, but I will take it. <laughs> <laughs> um, can uh, can I plant the torch like on the cart or stick it in the ground or something? Sure, you can just drop it if you want to. Will it still stay lit? Yeah, for a little while. Certainly for the duration of this combat. There we go. There's a torch there. Thank you. Thank Ooh. you, Chef Chris. Chef Chris, president. Sorry. So yeah, I just clicked on the map. 
That was cool. Okay, thank you so much. Now, my next question is about stealth. Yep. How does stealth work as far as actions? Is it an action to try to hide? Um, and if, if I hide, is it rewarding since combat has already started? I don't know. So yeah, That's the cool. first thing about uh, the first thing about hiding is it, you. It has to be reasonable that you can try to hide where you are. Right? Like you can't just be standing oh, yeah. out in the open and go, I am going to hide. So you have to have some kind of concealment that will let you hide. And then you make a you make a check. Um okay. the check and is, is usually part act? of a it's it's usually part of a move action, right? Okay. Um becoming hidden. If you make a stealth check against an you can make a stealth check against an enemy only if you have superior cover or total concealment. Or if you're outside their line of sight. So you basically have to hide behind something so they can't see you. Right then, okay. you can you can make a a roll to see can I yeah. The so could I do my crane wings and like leap over here and then try to hide? Uh, go ahead and make a stealth check and use the tower. What are you doing, Tiny Cat? You're not Does it? Go ahead and make a stealth. Oh, go ahead. You're, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a stealth. You're gonna hide. You're hiding behind the um, cart. Right? You're going to make a stealth check. And I will know the result and you won't. So you, Ko does not know how hidden am I. Right? Uh, it's up to the, it's up to the bullywugs to see if they can try to see you. And then go ahead and make your, so you think, you think you're hidden. Okay. And then it's just a question of how perceptive are these bullywugs. And okay. now if you want to go ahead and make your question. jump check, you can. Yes, Anna, go ahead. So uh, with the bullywugs being... So, like, kind of far away right now. Mm -hmm. um, but they have ranged weapons like javelins and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And spells, my yes. Understanding, yeah, my understanding is that there's like a uh, there's like a rock outcropping behind us or something that, like, would provide cover. Or are we trying to hide behind the cart? Because I thought we were going to try and get a little further back. That's a question for the group. There are a ring of stones directly uh, that Co that, that is adjacent to. It's a kind of broken I ring, but yeah. Because I want to use my action to do a second see them. wind. Because I I took some lumps from that uh, fungus, mm -hmm. um, and then when they come up, I want to jump out of the air and scare them. It's mostly for drama, but yeah, it'll feel really cool if it were. Yeah, that sounds awesome. They're currently fighting some blue kind of ones that are in the, I'm like eight lake. feet tall. I There's feel like if I'm <laughs> coming from the sky, it's dark it's out. Like Watch terrifying. this. Looks the way it does. Especially because I'm imagining that they're probably not as big as we are. So if you just, it's like you stomp on it. <laughs> I wish I could like pick up two of them and like smash their heads together or something. Dude, that'd be cool. Just say that you do that. <laughs> That's it. We'll just pretend. Because <laughs> I think Ko would be like extra angry here seeing all the dead giants. Like he's literally walking around all of the bones of his ancestors and they're like being used as like trail markers oh dude you're right and he's like Argh! just is way aggressive in here or something whoa it like awakens his like his giant nature or something uh, versus like the because was it barrowman or are they like more peaceful usually more peaceful yeah mm -hmm. i think i think like seeing these guardians like not getting a proper rest and then like mm -hmm. the name adds insult to injury Oh yeah, right. That makes Giant sense. rest. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. So yeah. So I'm gonna run that ten feet, and then I'm just gonna do that 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 twenty foot leap, and and I don't know. Can I land like hereish? Well, the question is, how far can you jump? Right now, uh, the thing your special abilities are one. You get to roll two dice when you um when you jump, mm -hmm. and your highest roll was you said uh, yeah it would be a, it would 21. be a 21 right mm -hmm. and your jump movement doesn't count against your total movement so whatever your normal movement is you can still move all that and you can do i guess like before or after you jump that's up to you but then instead oh, yeah. of dividing div instead of dividing the result by 10 to find out how many squares you jump which is pretty fucking useless you divide by 5 which is actually quite useful <laughs> so when you get to oh. 20 what, your 21 turns into four squares of jump uh, so then I'm going to run four square, five squares, and then I'm just going to go one, two, three. And can I get on top of this thing? Yeah, sure. Uh, so one, two, three, four. So I just, just kind of run up there and like laugh at the frogs and show them my own hops. Just boom. So you're not trying to hide. You're, you're not trying to hide. You're let, you, you, you can let them. You want them to see you. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 
Uh, it's up to you. I'm. I'm uh, you don't want to hide. Yeah, I, I. I guess I can't hide while being up here if I'm the. No, 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 no. You, you, you can. You can. Um, you yeah. Know, okay. You can. It's dark out. Uh, it's just a question of like when you said I'm trying to show these bullywogs my own jumpiness. I was like, oh, do you want them to see it? Uh, nah. Or is it just okay? Um, I want them to see it when it's already too late. Fair enough. That makes sense to me. <laughs> and, then, and then I still think I can take my second win. So, because uh, I've only used my move action. Uh, I don't know what type of action. I don't remember what type of action second wind is. It's a standard action, so yes, you can. Okay, so then I'm going to do that and then end my turn. Uh, okay, cool. Oren, Me. it's you. All right, I'm going to follow suit and also um, move back away from the water. So in that case, Oren's going to look at Lavellas and say, I need you to come with me before the frogs come back. Can I grab you? Yeah, I mean, like... All right, come here. And I just grab her and I just like toss her, you know, fireman carry style over my shoulder. And then, yeah, we're both going to uh, head. <laughs> Do I still get the same movement of like seven or I'm really strong? What's your what's your strength? I don't actually know how. Tw in 20. I'm also trained in yeah. athletics. Yeah, and go for it. Yeah, I'm not going to. There are probably rules yes. for it, but I'm not going to worry about it. There are probably rules for it, but also probably she doesn't weigh enough for it to affect you. So. Okay. That okay. Was a, that was not me, by the way. That was a bullywug. I was role playing. What? Huh? <laughs> um. So yeah, I think our whole thing is going to be movement, and then I can ready a an action. I believe. So I believe you I can. Ready. So I think what I want to do is whenever a um. A bullywug comes into my line of sight. I want to be able to use my. I want to have my slingshot readied and um, try to shoot him with my slingshot. It doesn't really matter which one comes into focus first. It's just whichever one shows up. Okay, that's fine. Take a, take a shot at. Yep. When I can see what you like, well, I, yep. It's you're just you've got your sling ready, and you're gonna sling a, a bullywug as soon as you can see one. Okay, cool. Then in that case, my turn is done. Ding, Sir Xanazor. Just before, obviously, I see the rest of the party heading off that way, so I'm like, oh, that's the way we're going, is it? But just before, is there anything in the cart I could grab, like, that might make me healthier? <laughs> uh, that might make you healthier? Yeah. I mean, there are some heavy cast iron pans that if you, you know, a couple hours a day, if you worked out with them, you know, after a couple weeks, you'd be pretty buff. Yeah. I see. Not that would make you healthier. Fine. Then I will head on over. Ready in action is a standard action, and it resets the initiative above the creature that triggers that ready action. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm not going to worry about that, though. Where shall I go? Uh, maybe, like... Oh, no. Oh, actually, uh, if I go there, I, I can't see anyone. We've uh, been streaming for four hours now. I need to stay in the light, so... Is there fan art of these characters yet? There is. Some people have drawn these characters in the MCDM Discord and the fan art section. Can I stand on that stone as well? Can you climb up there? How would you yeah, get up you there? Yeah, you see that? Uh, oh, is it... Is it's it like, that's like, a, that's like 12 feet, like, it's Stonehenge-like, right? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Wait, Stonehenge or Stone... Stonehenge? Yeah. I said it right. <laughs> uh, I didn't bring up any kind of gross mispronunciation. What the fuck? Why? That was you. That was you, Odie, not me. I just wasn't sure. I was, willing to I was willing to gloss over and move on, but you're the one that had this. <laughs> yes. Is there uh, thing I was ignoring you up until that moment? Well, then, I guess I'm, I'm okay in that square, I think. Uh, I'm gonna go there, and we'll wait and see what happens with these twitches. There you go. Okay, this bullywog twitcher... Uh, art. So, cool. mm -hmm. so what's the what's the range on this? Sh Shen? Actually, the problem is you guys are basically like all in cover and shit. Um, this is interesting. Uh huh. Okay. Well, he's gonna.
cool. That's cool. Okay, well, what he will do is he'll go one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, five. And then he, so you see a bullywug twitcher at just at the edge of the torchlight crawling out of the, uh, actually, Lavalis, you can probably see this bullywug now if you want to use your ready action against it. Uh, you mean Orin? What did I say? All elves look the same. Yeah. Uh huh. Sorry, I got your names confused. Same thing with Ko and Zoga. Yep. Like what? Yep. Listen, <laughs> I like have talking five. To my mom. <laughs> Too many children. <laughs> Sometimes that's exactly I how I feel. That's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. She's just like Sammy, wow. Katie, Seth, Charlie, Coco, Bunch. and I'm like, what Henry, the fuck? Mother. <laughs> Sometimes I get called the dog's name. We call the dog Indiana. Sorry, that's a. <laughs> Any sorry. Anyway, after that sad story, let me shoot this fucking frog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me go to combat. Sling, <laughs> sling, bada bada. <laughs> oh no! Oh, my Do word. I just like fucking like go of the handle of the sling and it just hits me in the face? <laughs> I, yeah, it just wraps. Her, you're getting ready to l- l- loose it. You're swinging around and it just wraps around your head. Uh, and then the bullywug does this kind of spasmodic hop. One, two, three, four. And oh. uh, the way it jumps, Zoga, it's almost like. It's it, it's so weird and haphazard and like it's 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 limbs are all twitching that it's a little bit disorienting. It's hard to tell like how it's moving, uh, and it targets you, and it makes an attack. Uh, did his attack provoke an attack because he's marked? Uh, it should have. It what it should have done is if I was next to him, it would have provoked an attack of opportunity for me. Correct. But um, what it will do is it will give him a negative two yep. to his hit. And it did. As you can, well, you guys oh, can't cool. see that, but it says spasmodic hop versus AC, mark minus two. Neat. Um, That's awesome. And Zoga, I don't know if that comma and means it happens anyway, but considering that he missed, I'm going to give this little bullywig twitcher a break. And uh, he's done. And that's the other bullywig twitcher. Uh, Wait, what's that effect? Well, the effect is he's hard. He's hard to hit. Oh, because he's um, he's like it's like you uh, sapped him with lightning, and he's just twitching, and his limbs are jerking around. Oh, I see. So this guy's <laughs> gonna go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Oh, there he is. And he's gonna target Zoga, and he's just gonna fucking try to javelin this motherfucker. Nope. Swing and a miss. And, uh, oh, you guys can see that. And this dude is going to go one, two, three, four, five. And he's going to hide behind this, uh, thing. And, um, I'm going to give Oren cover. Uh, so yeah, he's got, he's still got the same two people targeted. He hates elves, apparently. Uh, (laughs) actually, it's area burst one. So it's not that he doesn't have you guys targeted, it's that he um, creates a little thing that goes out like that. He can't see you, Ko, but you're in the area of the fiery croak. So once again, him, him. once again, the the now you, now you could, it's a little bit easier to see this bullywug shaman, um, even though it's you know, it, it's crouching behind the uh, cart. It it crouches down. And goes Bleh! like it's throwing up, and there's this loud croaking sound, and it it extrudes this, it spits this ball of fire that arcs up into the air, lights the whole area up, it smashes into the ground near the stone circle, and you're all caught in its blast, and it rolls fiery croak. Um. So he awesome. hits he hits Oren and does 14 damage. Mrs. Ko hits uh, Zoga and hits Lavellus. So the only person who isn't affected by the damage that I've already distributed is Ko. Ko, you can heal yourself for 14. I'll never forgive him for this. Oh, no. Wow. Uh. 
How do I mute him? <laughs> How do I mute justice? <laughs> <laughs> So that's the Bullywog Mudlord. He just fucked a whole bunch of players. Uh, We're gonna get this Mudlord. Let's see. Yeah, Z uh, Zoga's down. Lavellus is down. Is Tommy Gun right? Angel says, I agree with Anna. I do not come here to be assaulted by Justice's nonsense. <laughs> 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 Turd One Tibble says, Toad, Toad, Toad. <laughs> What's going on? Like talisman. Yeah, um, sorry. So, hey, it's Lavellus who is passed out and dying. You get, I to sure make a am. you get to make a death saving throw, Lavellus. Um, and I assume my previous death saving throw remains. Oh yeah, it doesn't go away until you take right, an extended right, rest. Right, I think. Great, 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 great. Really? Great. Until great. you until you sleep the night, basically. Yeah. What? That's true in fifth edition too, I believe. Ooh, oh, uh, I got I got bad news for like, you, Lavellus. I think you should be on the, like. A also, bird. you should have rolled that in the in the tower. You shouldn't get to know if you're dying. Oh, I, I don't know. Sorry. We should, we Everyone should be able pretend. To see if she's, like, yeah. Doing Badly no. or doing better. You'll, if I'm no. coughing up spores. I mean, you might notice if her body just goes if limp. I'm on fire. I'll certainly let you know if, if her body just kind of goes and her spirit leaves her I'm essence. Gonna die here today. Yeah. Zoga just... is also not enjoying this evening. Awesome. Ko! No. Hey, Ko, you're still alive. Right. Hey, how much, how, what does it take to drink a healing potion, by the way? Um, is it's act? a minor action. Let's delete this healing potion. I thought those healing poses were going to last longer. Yeah, so we did too. <laughs> Should have shaken her down for some more. Should have been better. And I get... I, and I have no Do you feel somewhat responsible for the loss of some of those healing potions? I can't imagine why. Um, Just summoning a fucking <laughs> angel of death to come down and smite the entire party. <laughs> we were fighting plants. It was made of fire. It seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> you can really use Madame Crisco right now. <laughs> Um, so Ko is going to stand up on this stone, uh, rock and survey all these bullywogs, especially that one that keeps croaking fireballs at us. It's, uh, it's um, bullshit. That fucking, that's a bullshit bullywog is what that is. He's about to punish him. Um, so <laughs> he's, I'm going to use my now Seamorg's wings uh, movement techniques, which is going to give me that plus five jump again. So let me let me do this so I can I figured out I can I can just drag. So Jared says off. Anna should have 28 wounds. I don't think that's true. Sorry, go ahead, uh, Justice. So I'm going to jump down, uh, just kind of move down here, and then I'm just going to leap in between these two. Cool. So I just kind of peer out of the sky and just kind of give it like uh, as I land. Like a... I'm still super mad about all these dead giants around me. Um, and I'm going to do my harmonious thunder on the two of them. Cool. Is that your daily power? It is my daily power. So no, I'm going to target at it. both of them. So chat can see what it does. Oops, sorry. I sent it to everybody. Target one okay, or two creatures, so attack dex versus four. 3d6 plus dex mod thunder damage. And you do damage if you miss. And you and crit. I look the like I hit both of them. Hit. Hit. Whoa, oh, no, shit. A lot of dice. Um, so I give that that ohm that I do, that, that quaking uh, ohm. And uh, yeah, so they just start, their, their amphibious flesh starts jiggling. Uh, and then I'm going to smack them with my, I'm going to go for the, uh, I got to distarget this one so that I only hit the mud one with my stone fist. Uh, and then I'm going to use my action point. Fuck. So also, you, I, yeah. So those of you who are watching for the first time, Ko the monk calls upon the spirits of his ancestors and this, he, he, he goes like, oh, you, you, and the whole area starts to vibrate and the two bullywugs next to him, they start to kind of like uh, vibrate in sync. And he sets up these sympathetic vibrations between them so that anytime one takes damage, the other one will take damage. Yeah, so, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, now that I use my action point, I'm gonna use my awaken the slumbering heart and I'm gonna say, giants rest. There will be no resting giants here tonight as I smack at yes. him. Yes. Mm. Ah, damn it! Okay. But well, still, pretty it's good. cool though, right? It sounded awesome though. So cool. That's my turn. Hang on a minute. Why are you effects minus two? You're uh, still disoriented from. You're still disoriented from the frog spores that you breathed in. Oren. 
So now, in any time either of these two take damage, the other one is going to take the damage. But so the, okay. it's once per turn. Yes, on on the yes. yeah on the coming turns. Yeah, you've got three heroes left, including yourself. Two heroes down. I don't have any more potions. Do you have any more uh, lotions? I have I I have I have one on my belt. <laughs> Lavellus coughs, and you notice as her body. Uh, heaves a little glint of light off the potion on her belt. The thing is, I want to use it on Zoga because Zoga has stuff to buff me. Honestly, if you want to do that, you can do that. I'm unconscious. <laughs> How am I going to stop you? Uh, hey, that's a does, good point. Does Zoga not have a potion? Not anymore. You took it off him and poured it down his throat. Uh, or was that your potion? No, that maybe? was my potion. Well, then somebody else did it. I think then somebody else did it to him. I used my potion on Zoga. Yeah, so Zoga's still got a potion. So you could... No, I I don't no. think I do. Uh. Somebody took Zoga's potion off him. Or Zoga drank it. Two potions got used when I fireballed everyone. Like, one got used by Vanazor before everyone was on fire. Then one got used when everyone was on fire. <laughs> and... <laughs> There, were that, there was that time we were on fire, and then there was that other time that we were on fire. Potion got <laughs> and then... got killed by the vines, and then, and then somebody the gave me a potion. And then Dale killed me, and then somebody <laughs> gave me... Somebody, <laughs> I think somebody... <laughs> and then you, Dale killed potion. me. <laughs> and then Dale killed me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, then... Anna did did, did that happen? Did, does anybody remember? I, I forget who that who did that. I have a but quick did, question. Did Madam Crisco was the one who burned you. Sure. I am going to use my standard action to make a first aid check on a Lavellus. Ah, uh, it's not enough. Uh, Fuck. Okay. Well, that's all right. I'm gonna use my movement. I'm gonna die here, and I'm gonna take all the Wood Elf lore with me. So I'm gonna stay here. I've got the Mud Lord targeted. I'm gonna use my second point or action point. Oh, please, 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 please. Please. That is good. Pretty sure Did you it hit, hit it. it? I yeah. 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 Oh, thank God. Yeah. Oh, that's your daily power, isn't it? Yes. Cool. God, that wasn't so good. Plus two power bonus to attack rolls and plus four against the target. You run a fuck. If you get another attack against this guy, you're gonna fuck him up. Come on, come on. That, and then I'm going to mark him. Can I ohm the Twitcher? That's yes, you can. Okay. Yeah, 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 yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, the Twitcher he automatically takes. takes well. He automatically takes damage because of. Um, because oh, of Ko's sympathetic vibrations that he created. Sir Vanazor. Uh I'm adjacent to Zoga, so I'm going to rummage in his pockets. Oh! oh. <laughs> and uh, pull out his healing potion. Uh, <laughs> lift, his, lift his head up, uh, push, push, put his head back so his throat opens, and pour the potion down his throat. Uh, hopefully bring him back to life. Hmm. Ah, who comes... Ah, that mud lord's a pain, but I can't really get to him, so I'll have to go through this twitcher. Bugger it. You could flank him. Right, but how would I get around? I can't go like that, can I? I will go here, That's so I question. flank this guy. That one hit point might be important. Zoga should be at 12 wounds, because healing starts at zero. Let's target him. Oh, that looks like he's targeted. And what's this? I don't really use this. Great cleave. Great cleave is for when there's more than one bad guy around you. Yeah, I'm a lot of those, aren't I really? So it's gonna be our howling strike. Ooh. That was chat being on your side, go. That was chat giving giving Tom one hit point back. Hit. <laughs> Good. Let's do some damage. Uh uh uh. Uh, uh, hmm. I don't like this guy at all, so I'm going to spend my action point. Pop. Hang on. Gonna... Oh, Hang go on. on. I, uh, what did I do wrong? Since I am not dead. Yep. <laughs> Boom. Thank you. Action point. And I've got my modifier, which I forgot in the last one, but... 
hit. <laughs> and oh, now we'll get a bit more damage. Come on, let's get some good damage here. Yes. Oh yeah, the bullywog twitcher ex explodes nice. from nice. Sir Vanazor's axe, and Whoa. bits of bullywog uh, entrails go flying out across the fields. As that happens, obviously I, I tilt my head back. Sir Vanazor, huge, great roar of triumph, and then each enemy in burst effect uh, takes minus two penalty to all defense. What's the What's the burst? Uh. Close burst five. Yep. Go ahead and drag that penalty onto those Whoa. two guys. Uh, is, is it drag the dragon or the man? The man, right? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, dragon. drag the little man. Yeah. Do I get this right? Dunk. Yep, and... you got it. Dunk. Yep. And that's a roar of triumph, so that's an encounter power, and I will end my turn there. That's cool. Nice. That was awesome. So this guy is going to untarget Zoga and target Ko. Actually, he's going to shift so that he gets um, advantage. Plus two. And then he javelins you. Oh, he stabs you with his javelin. Hits. And does six points of damage with a javelin. Uh, I believe he's done. And then the Mudlord. Oh, did you need to make a saving throw at the end of your turn for some effect? Oh, I did. Sorry. Yes. 13. Cool. Success. And it took it off. Alright. The Done. Bullywug is going to shift five feet. One square, which does not provoke attacks. He can shift because I have combat, I have combat challenge. What is, what, say that again? In addition, whenever an enemy marked by you is adjacent to you and shifts or makes an yeah. attack that does not include you, you mm -hmm. can make a melee basic attack against that. You absolutely can. Immediate interrupt. Yep. Go for so, it. Thanks, chat. Do I have him targeted? I do. It. Nice. You got plus 10 total. Eight. Wow. Cool. Damn. You got you got plus 2, and he got minus 2. Of course, yeah, because of Triumph Brawl thing. Yep. Nice. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm going to put the damage. And I get plus on damage as well, so. Orin. Yeah. Orin. Oh, nice. man. Hell yeah. What, I see this, like, I see this, like yeah. mud toad try to, like, shift away after, like, blow. Like, I'm, like, totally singed from all the fire stuff, and I'm just, like, fucking over it. So, like, I just snarl at this, like, little toad creature, and uh, I see him trying to, like, slink away, and I'm like, oh, no, you don't. And then I just leave it with my, my battle axe. Hell Put yeah. Into it. You would, by was, the way, that's the um, dude as well. You, if it wasn't for both of those plus twos, Anna, you would have missed. Yeah, so that's, that's, what I figured. that's teamwork. <laughs> teamwork. Uh, yeah. The Mudlord croaks. Oh, and is dying too. Is it dead? Yeah. Oh, and cool. then everyone dies from the ohm. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, this, oh. Guy's, this guy's dead. So that's, we should get up Lavellas. Oh, yeah. Look, you guys lived. I don't know what you guys are worried about. Uh, well, here we go. What? It's depending. I am on Get up. literally Slacker. the brink of death. Oh, yeah. thank. Riggedy frig. <laughs> thank, thank fuck is what she was thinking. <laughs> but she's too polite to say something so rude. <laughs> thank friggity frig. I said what I said. <laughs> Can you just use that inspiration like on everybody repeatedly? Yes. Oh, oh, out of combat? Yes. In Outside combat. Of combat. Yeah. In combat cool. only once. Outside of combat, oh, yeah. you know, timing yeah. and stuff. Anyway, I think this is probably a good place to stop. Well done. Here's your inspiring word. Thank you, Zoga. Good job kicking everybody's asses, everybody. Yeah, Woo, we did Thank it. You, Zoga. Oh, that's so good. You should feel so. You should feel great. Well, I'll, feel inspired. Uh, you guys are kicking ass. <laughs> feel inspired. Oh yeah, here let's award some XP for these encounters. You guys, you guys are inspiration oh, to me as a uh, warlord. I feel a little lightheaded because if if. They hadn't both died right then, like exactly then. I, it would have come down to a single d20 dice roll, whether I lived or died. <laughs> yeah, you'd be fine. I, I tried my best. <laughs> you you I, did like, great. 15. Thank you. I needed, I, I needed like a 15 to like stabilize you. 15 oh. that, to me seems really high. I don't know. What it do does, I? but I mean, get blasted with a fireball. So I get it. I'm because I didn't. <sighs> yeah, that must suck, huh? 
Just getting blasted by fire? Man, sounds rough. Uh, so okay, let... his what would you know about it? <laughs> All right. No, you guys aren't going to level You guys, I don't think you guys are going to level up. There's not enough XP, but let's see what wow. happens here. Wow. Uh, After, I think we should get extra XP for every time we, like, become unconscious, and then we survive it. Yeah. Let's see what happens when I click the award button. Yep, Bye. there you go. Anything. Oh my God! You guys are you guys are only a third of the way to yeah. Basically, everything you've done since we started, you need to do all of that three more times. Wow! Oh my goodness. Or I'm Did sorry, two more times. The other two. Yep. You got XP for fighting the slavers in the bar. I got a list here. You can see it on the party sheet actually. If you go to the XP tab, I believe. Um, you guys got XP for the slavers. You got XP for the Sturges. You got XP for the vines, and you got XP for the bluewoods. Bluewoods. And they really make you work for it. Dude, I didn't die this entire battle. Or the last well one. Well done. Congrats. And you killed a lot of stuff, actually. God. Yeah. This, like this seems like a, a good place to spend the night, right? Camp out here. Have a well, long you've, rest. Well, you've cleared the place out, sort There's of. There's still yeah. an owlbear hanging around, though. Correct. So but I, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. We'll just light a fire. And then, I think... we'll, then we'll take watch. <laughs> and then I'll put it out. Do you remember? Oh you my know? god. Yeah, I remember. That was yes, so awesome. And you blinded Wes as a result. He's like, I can't see. Don't know what's yeah. going on. Yeah. <laughs> just put it out at the end of my watch. Just poured water over it. There you go, Wes. Good luck on your watch. <laughs> um, I must be indeed. Well, I'm not... Like, if we can just at least move inside this, like, little, like, stone thing to camp. Uh -huh. Like, okay. maybe that would afford us at least a little bit of cover. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Hang on a minute. Uh, oh, go and pick up your torch. Uh, Co, you, didn't you leave your torch behind? No, I'll pick up my torch. Uh, there, I've put a campfire huh? in the middle of the camp. Is there anything on the cart that we could use to, like, set up, like, a bell or, or some sort of, like, tripwire? Oh, yeah, tripwire. Um, there's definitely stuff that you could... There's definitely a lot of stuff in the cart. Can you figure out a way to turn what's in the cart into something like a tripwire trap? That's going to be like a dungeoneering check. Even if Ooh, we can't do I can that, do that. Oh yeah. Let me let me double check. I think I have dungeoneering. I, I mean, I, I've got a pretty good dungeoneering. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. I think mine's just like a plus three. Well, your wisdom is like. Please use the way tower. The, best. the dice tower. Who, who's making the check? Should I just make the check? You you should do it in the dice tower. Okay, yeah. all right. You go for it. Yeah. I'm gonna drop this dice, so if it rolls it, ignore it. Yeah, there's um, uh, there's some rope and some other uh, things, the other, uh, like, uh, strings and stuff that you could use, and you could take, like, a spoon and a, and a pan and kind of rig them together so that if somebody trips the rope, the spoon will ring out. The spoon will clang into the pan. It's not literally a bell, but it'll serve. Uh, is there the what was it called? The Mud Lord, the main guy, the one that was fireballing us all yep. the time. Uh -huh. Can I can I search him? Yes, absolutely, you can. I will search him. He's got nothing. <laughs> I'll search another whatever it was. No, nope, they don't care. They just have like javelins and gotcha. loincloths and stuff. Maybe if you could dive into the water and swim and hold your breath or whatever, you could find their lair and maybe there's some loot there. But you, no way to know. Maybe not. All right, where's that campfire? I'm going to think I'll curl up next to it. Clean the old eyeballs. All right, you Start guys. Story. Um... <sighs> Who wants to uh, roll a d12 in the dice tower to see? First of all, is the only person, uh, quote unquote, on watch, Oren, who's in her meditative trance? I'll stay on watch. <laughs> uh, how long? Which watch? How, how long are you going to stay on watch? Uh, what's a normal watch? Like two hours. It's up to you, folks. You, you may have never taken watch before. I think I think Ko's still a little riled up, so two hours sounds pretty good to him. Okay. So that means there's basically two watches. There's the first one with Ko and Ko awake and Oren in a trance, and then the rest of the night is Oren in a trance. Uh, so, 
Ko, why don't you go ahead and roll a d12 into the uh, dice tower? Let me move my diary over. Okay. Your two hours passes uneventfully. You, uh, the sounds of nature return. You hear frogs, you hear crickets, uh, you hear hunting things, you hear strange noises you're not used to hearing in the forest, like, you know, wild creatures seeking mates. Uh, but otherwise, nothing happens. Before before we go to the second watch with just Orin, can You're I just double check? You're asleep. No, 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 but I, no, 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 but I just want to check the meta. I just want to check the meta. How how I don't know how much sleep I need to have in order to replenish my healing. Eight sleep. hours. Oh, six. Oh, it says okay. six hours for an extended rest. Six hours. Okay, noted. But I'm asleep. <laughs> okay, Orin, I need you to roll a d12 twice. All right, so Oren, you smell something. Uh, it smells like peat. I don't know if you know what that is. Not a person. Yeah. Yeah. I smoke. I mean, I, I smoke. I, I smoke peat. Scotch. I drink. I smoke scotch. And I, yeah, I drink tobacco. Uh, <laughs> so you have this distinct odor of thick, musky peat that you quasi recognize. It's not the kind of thing you typically get in the fallen city where you're from, but it does, it is something you're aware you might encounter in the Woad Elf area. And um, you notice this, this large, it looks almost like a piece of the forest has come alive. Uh, or I would say, I would say more like specifically the boundary between the land and the pond. You know how it's like really moist, right? Where the water meets the land. It's like that part of the forest has come alive. Is it shambling towards us? Yes. Uh -huh. ah. And that's where we'll end things. And I'll see you folks next time we play.